Welcome back to Cruisin' with Steak. In this episode, James, Jerry, and myself, Grimsteak, sat down and had a wonderful chat with Yvonne, also known as Groovy Bean. Yvonne has a YouTube channel called Groovy Bean Dark Brew, where she talks about a range of topics from pain management, bleh, pain management to various UFO cults that put a bad mark on the community. Uh, the link will be in our show description to her channel. And I just, I feel honored to be able to call her a friend now. It was a great time. Uh, this is the part where I ask you guys to interact with us and help us grow our amazing community we have. You can join our Discord channel. There's always people chatting it up in there all day long. And it's also a good spot to be if you want to get in on our Saturday roundtable shit shows that we've been doing lately. It's a good time. We actually, we're going to record a long intro for this, but... It ended up going like three hours, and it's just going to be a show in itself. That was a fun one, though. Um, Yeah, check out our website, grimstake.com. It's a nice donate button on there if you feel so inclined. You could also see Failed's paintings that we mention from time to time. And just don't be afraid to interact with us. I know you guys are out there. We just hit 6,000 downloads. Just send me some mail. Hate mail, love mail. Critique us. Don't forget to rate the show on iTunes. Just, I just, I love you guys. I want you to interact with us. Grimsteak at gmail.com. Send me an email. Join our tribe. Love you guys. Enjoy the chat. We'll be right back after this break. After this break. Thanks for tuning in to Crimson with Steak. All right. Crimson with Steak. I want to welcome Yvonne, a.k.a. Groovy Bean of Dark mm-hmm. Brew on YouTube to the show. We also got Jerry here. Thank you. How you doing, everybody? Thank you. That guy, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, thank yeah. you for having me. Oh, by I'm the way, Ron, Grim doesn't edit these, so just FYI. Well, if you want something edited out, you specifically <laughs> say it. Otherwise, it just it goes up as is. <laughs> like <laughs> like oh, bullets and presidents and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all whatever. So yeah, welcome Good to Cruising with Steak. <laughs> nah, Thank yeah. you. Free flow and have fun. Let's do this. Have fun. High All fives. Right. Woo. Yeah. Break. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. So uh, Yvonne is... Yes. Uh, Thank uh, you, Jerry. You're welcome. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Thank you. Good night. Yvonne's a host <laughs> of a show on YouTube called Dark Brew. Uh, she's also was previously host of a podcast called The Groovy Bean. She is a near-death experiencer. Is that what they call it? NDE survivor, however you want to look at it. She didn't die yet again. (laughs) 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 Of uh, TBI, which caused her to go through with six months or a year of rehabilitation. I forgot. I'm sorry. Close to six to a year. I'm asking this question. Oh, yes. Okay. Forgetting works. Yes. TBI. Uh, What's a TBI? A a traumatic brain injury. Oh, sorry. (laughs) Traumatic brain injuries, TBI. Do you the story about the guy who got the railroad spike through his chin and he could play the piano great or something after oh, that? Oh, wow. Hers was just as bad and she got none of the benefits. I didn't <laughs> get a spike through my head for him. No, I know. I, yes. That, but that was a traumatic brain injury. The guy had to go through rehabilitation but came out. He was altered, very lucky. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Which has happened to Yvonne, too, and hopefully we'll get to that story. Correct. I was just going to say, I need, I have a lot of brain trauma and uh, I'd love to hear, I, not that I want, I'm not that I'm sympathetic. Yeah. I'm very sympathetic towards that because uh, for sure. They don't and, call uh, you James I, concussion I, cruise. For hey nothing. man, <laughs> I've, I've fucking smashed my head around a million times yeah. and uh, yeah. And I, I'd like to hear uh, what might've happened to you for sure. Oh yes. <clears throat> yes. Thank you. Uh, well, you welcome to the show. <laughs> well, let's get into it. I'm, I'm curious <laughs> now. Yeah, me too. Uh, so, what? Like, how old were you? What? What happened? Like, when that happened? Like, 
how long well, ago, I should say. This was uh, in the fall of 2011. And mm. yeah. Mm. And I was at a red light. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was rear ended by a drunk driver. Third oh, offense, 21 years old. Holy illegal. shit. <laughs> no insurance. <laughs> uh, you, James, it could have been you. No, yeah. uh, hey, man. Uh, yeah, I. I, I rarely drove drunk. I could tell you that much, but uh, right, let her finish now. Sorry, no, yeah. that's okay. No, 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 it's not it. Yeah, don't so, drink and drive. Right <laughs> when the moment of impact, because I'm pretty petite, I'm height challenged. <laughs> vertically <laughs> challenged. Yeah, yeah, that's my Sicilian goodness there. And uh, right at the moment, you know, I was leaning to change the oh, music shit. at the like the exact mm. moment. And, um, you know, contra coup in my head because I was at an angle twist and there was a um, steel, mm. uh, not, um, what do you call that? A handle, steel handle on the wheel. So I hit my, hit my head on that uh, sucker. And the dr- driver was about going about 65 miles an hour. Oh my oh God. My. So it was yeah. a good thud. <laughs> yeah. So. Wow. So when you, oh, you know, you awoke from this where you were obviously were in the hospital or something at this point, right? Like, well, it's kind of like those, you know, you see in the movies, the frames per second things where they're, ch- 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 yeah. and you have these, yeah. like I have these little slices Dude, of yeah. the ambulance <laughs> of glancing over at people looking at me, just Same. kind of that weirdness, <laughs> right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you go to the ER and you go through the whole medical scare system there and, yeah, you know, yeah. uh-huh. um, fingers crossed or whatever you do uh-huh. that uh, you come out of that um, somewhat okay. It's blurry but, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. So they sent, they, you know, do their exam, whatnots, and, you know, they send you home, sent me home at least. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. But that was just. That was the beginning. So, were you uh, in the car by yourself? Uh, uh not at the no, I wasn't. No, you had a pet. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, mm-hmm. and um, it, well, then they were okay. It, well, luckily, yeah. they were okay. It was I because of that lean. You know, when you go to change, yeah. <laughs> so um, oh. yeah, so you get sent home and it was this, you know, with concussions and, or just brain injuries themselves, it can take up to two weeks for them to rear their, the results Mm. of hitting your head. And it was after about a week, week and a half. And, uh, I started my, my left eye had issues and I started, I lost speech Mm. and the ability to walk. My, oh. my left foot dropped. It's called foot drop. And so um, everything just started to shut down. But during the shutdown process, uh, <laughs> uh, I was seeing things, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And it was, how can I explain? It was essentially like experiencing two different dimensions at one time in the same yeah. oh. frame. Yeah, it's that that conscious, subconscious reality, right? Yeah, like I know I could totally hear what you're saying (laughs) yeah yeah Yeah. so so after yeah so after the week and a half and things just just oh my gosh just stopped working like i was i was in there but uh uh, that whole progression was really terrible you know just the the, yeah did did i'm confused so you you bumped your head as far as they're concerned to send you home. Nothing else happened, or was that where the NDE, or is that coming up? So That's when later, I hit, right? Yeah. No, <laughs> oh no, no. Okay. When I hit my head, so when I hit my head, it was this absolute the moment. So I go to the moment of impact. So when my head head went, it twisted, and when it went forward and hit the mm-hmm. metal, mm-hmm. it was this complete and utter shock to the soul and it it's like everything you ever see those movies where everything goes really fast and then it stops like Mm -hmm. this kind of wave Mm -hmm. right and so it it was that but everything vortexed inside Mm. and stopped but then it was the shattering of glass 
but I call it shattering of the soul or shattering of compartments or shattering of reality, everything. Oh. And it was just like this. And, and I remember there was this utter sense of self that I said, and I, I, how do I explain this? It, that I went so deep within my being, that energy being the essence of being and that energy. And I had a, I had to tell myself, hold on, hold on. And it wow. was like a mantra, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I, I, I was in the space of going through a void, a black, dark void. And I, I knew for myself, if I let go, if I gave any sense of letting go, that was it. Wow. That was it. Mm. Wow, that's crazy. So it was this, yeah, it was like this, um, almost if you can like an, a giant inhale. So it was just the moment of impact. It was like, <laughs> like a big vacuum. Mm. And, but then at the same time, when everything shattered, it was being shot through a black void in a, in a vortex and a leaving the meat bag, leaving mm -hmm. the body and then, but then being shot out. And I I'm going through this process of trying to understand where I was. So I'm going to say shot out of the matrix. Cause I'm not sure where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. So yeah. You have to put then, it in some category. Yeah. yeah. Some, yeah. some kind of terms that you so can then, understand. Yeah. So then <laughs> I'm you in this. About a flat earth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm in this, so I get this shot out through this black, beautiful, dark void, shot out. And then I'm in a 360 degree view of the universe. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> and can I ask you one question? Yeah, like, yeah, during yeah. this time, like, were you into the, the fringe type stuff? You know, like, were you always kind of into the, that type thing? Like, do these things... This is so. Did it resonate with you, like at that time, or like? I hate that word, resonate. Did yeah. I like it, or did, did I like it, or didn't I like it? No, I'm. Yeah, like, okay. uh, not. I guess frequency wise, like, do you did you were you into okay. woo? Were you into you woo, yes. Were you were you did you know what you might have been experiencing at that point? Not uh, like yeah. I do now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but <clears throat> I I've had. I've always liked the paranormal. I've right. always alien kind of things and that whole genre, right? Yeah, you were uh, like a um, a darker soul, though, right? Like you like monster movies, ghost stuff, paranormal, that kind yeah. of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big I just was wondering, yeah, because I was, yeah, when when it happened to me when I was younger, I didn't really know too much about the fringe, but I was kind of into those topics, and so it didn't that. When it happened to me, it didn't resonate like that. Yeah, but, yeah. I, I've always <clears> been <throat> in the fringes. I was I was born in Los Alamos. In oh the well, oh, there you really? go. Yeah, wow, <laughs> this is crazy. the plot that thickens. <laughs> <laughs> it goes oh, deep. Dude, it's deep underground. <laughs> yeah, it's unstirable plot. So in anyway. the secret city, yes, the year it was disclosed. That's when oh, I was. Oh man, born, where I was born. Yes. And Phil Snyder's her father. And the reason why I point out I don't like the word resonate is because I'm trying to get out of the deep extremes of the new age cult woo. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the loading cult, language cult. of new age cult woo. Yeah. That's I have a problem with words and language and resonate relating them. Like it, no. <laughs> yeah. I suck at it. Yeah. Teach me I'm not words. trying to make it seem like, like woo woo. Yeah. I'm like, I'm no, I, I just for yeah. <laughs> listeners to understand where I'm coming from. I'm not. Yeah, like, for sure. Know, Yes. And I'll shut up and you can explain. No, no. <laughs> no, ask away. Yeah. No, I just was wondering. Yeah, I'm like, I'm because like when that happened, I had no clue about like a lot of the 14 on the fringe shit, you know, like mm -hmm. and and now that I know that I am I don't know. It's hard for me to put myself back in that state and say like it's something that I would have related to, you know. Yeah. Like, I, don't know. I mean, I, I had <laughs> Before the traumatic brain injury, before that accident, yeah. I had had other uh, incidences that I look back on now and mm -hmm. question what those were. And those were during um, surgeries. Okay. And yeah. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So have you recognized, recognized any, um, any of those issues to be prophetic? Explain that again. 
Um, have any of those things that you've remembered turned out that you were re- like, if you remembered a vision you had, just say that for instance, right? Um, did any of those things that you come experienced true. turn out to be prophetic or come true or come to? Yes. Be? Well, before the TBI, had prophetic things happen. That's what um, I meant before. So I would, uh, well, there's a, um, so two years. Okay, and then you're going to start pointing out a pattern here with incidences of me getting hit. Oh, I have many. <laughs> so two, okay, yeah. so two years prior to this <laughs> accident, I was rear-ended, and um, it was just a few weeks before that rear-ending. I, I had, I got a, you know, you're going to get hit, so you need to yeah, buy a different sure. car. Yeah. So I sold my Toyota, Toyota Corolla, and I got a Ford Explorer. Yeah. And right after I got the Ford Explorer, I got rear-ended. Jeez. That was before that one. Yeah. Things like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Things like that. Yeah. 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 I've, I've totaled two cars myself. Like, well, mm-hmm. both, both, well, first one was a, uh, a driver that ran a stop sign. I hit him doing like 50. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah, the second one was me driving and the ass, it was in the wintertime. I live in Cleveland with snow and shit ice. So yeah, the ass end looped out and I fucking smashed the wall and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I totaled two cars completely. Yeah. James car crash. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, it, things happen, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> things things, things happen. do happen. Yeah. Things yeah. Like, yeah. But yeah. shit like that, that happened to you with this drunk driver. Fuck that shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So Anyway, let's get back on to so you were you were in, blasted into this vortex round like this area three sixty oh. view of the universe. Yeah, so wow. I'm in, that's awesome. I'm in the, yeah, so and it wasn't in in the meat bag. This yeah, is inner your you the you the you deep deep inside that essence that was hold on hold on, hold on. And it was that, and it really was a mantra for quite a while. And so then I'm back out and it was the absolute most beautiful knowing of what the word love here means and serenity. And all the stars were like a warm blanket, like everything stitched together. And it was this sense of knowing love and being with the creator in creation creating at the same wow time. that is yeah. awesome that is awesome yeah i i love that picture i have yeah. had memories yeah. i have memories like that that's weird yeah <laughs> like it, you know dream, when you, uh, memories of dreams rather <clears> right <throat> okay been like that yeah it's interesting right that blanket of love i it, that's a mm-hmm. that's a good thing i uh, I wonder yeah, if like and, that and it, if love's just like the raw emotion. Like when you strip everything else away, that's that's baseline emotion, just love. Like I don't know. The, the, the love there, the love there wow. yeah. was this or is this to me still it was pure, absolutely pure. It's like the love that the superficial love here in this realm or whatever you want to call this, it's not really Mm, it doesn't have that oomph, that real basis of yeah. genuine authenticity that, that, that you know, that's yeah. the unobtainium, you know, like that is the, the one thing that I, like that for me in too. love can, cannot be. Yeah, sure. Uh, unobtainium, <laughs> the unobtainable, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's uh the unobtainable, man. You cannot measure, you can't create it. You can't do anything, you know, like that's, mm-hmm the soul being of life itself and you no one's ever mm-hmm. going to be able to take that from you yeah uh reproduce that anything like mm-hmm. that is it no mm-hmm. doubt about it yeah <laughs> yeah it was the the utter uh, sense of knowing and understanding that this is just this isn't it this is not mm-hmm. all that there is and again the serenity that was there was the utmost utter freaking most beautiful thing that I've ever experienced. And, um, yeah. So, so it was just this complete, um, mm, being, being with being in creation as the essence itself. That's Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so that lasted for like how long maybe I couldn't in and this it's, is it was a feeling, this, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah it was a long yeah. time. And yeah. time and day 
in to this day to how we're talking right now, I have issues with time. Time is such a freaking illusion and yeah. a time, mm-hmm. the whole thing, it, it just doesn't work with me. And, um, but anyhow, it, it was, I was there for, oh, you know, a good while, but then it was a sense, okay, you got to go back. Okay. And I did mm-hmm. not want to come back because <laughs> oh, it was just, I had, my my life up until this point, I have had a lot of trauma and a lot of medical mayhem is what I call it, or yeah. medical um, health care, uh, mind control, if you want to call it that, too. Uh, and um, this was just a sense of relief. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah, that the health system will fucking fry doctor. your brain, even if nothing's wrong with you, dude. Correct. No, yeah, I mean, my wife's it? gone through it, dude. Like, it, my yeah, like with our kids and stuff. Just they mention one word and it just sends you down a fucking yeah. a, a rabbit hole of yeah. fucking bullshit, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I'm not a huge fan of it either. <laughs> no. But, no. Damn. You were born in Los Alamos, huh? Yes. <laughs> that's, that's still pretty not cool. in the lab. She wasn't born. <laughs> it's just born in the city. Of. Oh, right, right. Just in the lab down by the river. You know, yeah. In the lab down by the river. <laughs> no. Yes. Now we're talking. Yeah. yeah. So when you had this experience, did uh like you hear like anecdotally people saying like there's a light or something to walk into? Did you did you see anything like that or was no there light. no light or no anything light. like that? And for me, I've been you know, going through the process of what is this light that people talk about. And I wonder if that is a false light or oh. is that, um, yeah, I don't, cause what I, what I saw was absolute uh, this bliss. It sounds like vast, pure bliss. vast <laughs> amount of darkness, but it was amazing. Yeah. Wow. There's no white light or, you know, that kind you of thing. You ever been religious or, uh, like, like, were you in the, in the indoctrined into the Catholic yeah, or growing up like, like that? that? Yeah. yeah, Italian, Sicilian, Catholic. Oh, you know, shit. But yeah, I never, yeah. I never paid attention to CC. Right, you weren't like or, a strong practicer or no. anything. Yeah, uh, I was always in the principal's office. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, yeah. but huh. yeah. So, and then you know, upon coming back and then waking up and then being at home and then um the process of starting to lose body function and yeah the ability to walk talk chew swallow that's what followed yeah. after that and then um the you know and then the whole medical system. i was gonna say and then you're going yeah. back to these fuckers you know yeah. like and then yeah that but well, i'm sure that uh it's past the buck and they pass the buck on to the next guy. Oh, you need to go see this guy. You need to go see yeah. this guy, this specialist. Right. Then that specialist, mm-hmm. Oh, you know, you're gonna have to go back to your primary. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. yeah, it's a yeah, fucking yeah. They, shit they show. The ball again, which is yeah. not new to me. Or they like, don't want to hold anything over their own heads. So they're just going to pass no. the ball. Yeah. 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 They sent yeah. me home and right. then I get home and you go through this process. You go back to the ER because yeah. I, I, Something I mean, else I happens. Out yeah. <laughs> and my blood pressure dropped, and oh it was in, and then in the ambulance because you know your your brain swells up and you're in the ambulance. And I remember asking the uh, ambulance driver, "Am I am I dying? Am I dying again? Am I dying?" Man, and that was all. You kind of go in and out of this state of consciousness and state yeah. of being, and then uh, back to the ER, and they run more tests, and oh yeah, you have a brain injury. Da 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 da. But guess what? The brain rehab is full. We're going to send people to your house to take care of you, right? Oh, so then man. it was this process, mm. bullshit process of trying to advocate while this is going on. And then eventually, though, I did end up going to brain rehab um, to re- relearn how to chew, swallow oh. food, yeah. relearn to talk. I had an AFO braces on because I had a drop foot and relearned to walk. And then... Um, and that whole process, so that the injury, the TBI injury happened in 2011, but it was a good, uh, you know, so to, I had at home care time again with me anywhere from three to four months, took them that amount of time to get me into brain rehab, go into brain rehab, come back out. And then it's this process of, you know, I see things, 
now. <laughs> yeah. And I don't tell the doctors that because, you know, they'll lock you up Fuck. and throw it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I knew enough not to, that thankfully not to say anything about what I was seeing, but the pro the, the interesting process for the next, so 2011, 12, 13, 14, um, was experiencing two dimensions at the same time. And I could put my hand through walls. I could put my hand through my skull and massage my brain. Uh, I was seeing, <laughs> yeah, really, really seriously trippy stuff. I mean, I would just be sitting there putting my hand, I mean, you know, just, amazing things and um and then going to you know you go through all the pt ot speech therapy all this other stuff uh and um so going through that whole process and then jumping to the fall of 2015 um there's this thing that i call brain fog and as you're healing through the different levels of coming back into my body and back into this dimension, if you want to say it, or just this where we are, yeah. um, mm -hmm. these layers lift off and this, this, whatever that these states are, this layer lifts off and you kind of, Oh, okay. More awareness or awareness in the meat bag. And so the fall of 2015, I just started doing this completely different artwork. Um, and then up until that time, I would be looking at stuff around my house going, you know, whose stuff is this? It's, and it would be Hi. mine. Yikes. And I, wow. you know, completely my personality changed down to my laughter. I lost all, all my friends really. Um, mm -hmm. Most of, yeah, pretty much like maybe under five stuck around if that and but you my whole personality and everything changed and i'll be your friend uh, thank you <laughs> so any day, your friend, no definitely I mean, yeah. So, yeah no yeah so you know but hey the way just um vanity left yes and i couldn't mm -hmm. relate to the old me and the stuff that was in my house I'm like who who the hell stuff is this and family would tell me it's yours and i'd be like Nah, come on, you know, just but that and still I'm still go through things where I'm like, did I like this? Didn't I? Like, who is this? What? And um, and then also um looking at my, you know, my own face in the mirror to this day, I still have issues with looking at myself because I'm like, is that that that's not me? And there were some interesting things, you know, um, when I when I was in the, that first two, three years, I thought I was a, a Native American and I was Whoa. saying certain things and it was very interesting. Uh, but anyhow, it's just interesting. Right. So. And so 2015, uh this huge layer lifts. I get a pad of paper. I start doing this crazy cool artwork that I had never, I never worked in graphite before. I was working in graphite, these big giant drawings. And then I just start researching kind of, well, no, the deeper state of things in the woo. So, right. okay. So like MK ultra and oh, yeah. uh, Illuminati it stuff. Came, it, did it we, come we all, like we natural? all go down that yeah. path. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Just, yep. yeah like deeper, yeah. deep into the rabbit hole and yep. deeper topics. And just uh, this, I had not researched any of those or had experience with it prior. Right. But something so, just drew so were you to it. Like that's, yeah, that's were you like, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you, as you're doing this art stuff were you like starting to listen to shows more starting to like is that like when you were it was trying? really bizarre because yeah. i focused in on certain websites so this was 2015 genres, 20 fall of 2015 something, something about, <laughs> 20, something about that, right, 2015 <laughs> like that 2015 was when i felt like i really dove deep oh. into everything something happened in 2015 yeah I mean, that's, it is July, that's crazy in august yeah yep interesting yeah. Yeah, I, th I think there was a layer that was yeah, like you're talking about these layers the, that happened. was lifted or something. I don't know. You I, know, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So so I'm diving deep in all of these subjects, and um, someone had seen my artwork, and they asked me to be on a podcast with them. The next thing you know, I'm co-hosting, and the next <laughs> thing you know, I have my own radio show. Yeah, so, awesome. so wow. it was really interesting. Yeah, um, yeah. So. Wow. Leaps and bounds through this rabbit oh. hole. <laughs> yes, yes. Do we we still do talk to our co-host, right? Definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys are still friendly. Who? 
You're talking to me? Yeah. Oh, sorry. So I was looking at the screen going. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that was oh yeah, um, yeah. And, and you guys know. So her I had too. done. I had done. I had got in into the podcasting and trying to find where I liked to podcast, and I ended. So that was an interesting story there. But um, when I finally kind of got a little bit more settled, I would. I created a bunch of different types of podcasts. And one of them was with, yeah, it was Mr. Mr. I call him Mr. Jim Nichols, the UFO illustrator and researcher. So we had a lot of fun. Yeah. Doing that. And it was just, it was, you know, Hey, I was, I, I relearned how to talk and everything. And sure, uh-huh. I, love, talk, I love talking to people. It's, and they're good shows. And that's how we actually. Thank met you. Yeah. Saw. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. We can go. I don't know which direction you want to go. So I'll let you guys. (laughs) You need to send, if you can, a picture, one of your pictures over and. Oh um, yeah. Use it. Jim, uh, James can incorporate it into the. Oh yeah. James James does us episode art. custom. I just do. Yeah. I just. I have a okay. crazy, I have a sure. long art background, my entire life, basically. Yeah. But, um, okay. I, I created a, I just always been into whatever medium, whatever form, cool. throw some paint around, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, but then I got into digital media. So like I, I did, I, I worked on the computer. That was, it, it, it's a weird thing. Like you grow up without that kind of stuff, you know, like, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I'll, I'm, I'm, turned 40 so like i mean as i was growing up you know we didn't have the computers and all that crap like Mm -hmm. so i created just pencil drawings of everything and i learned to draw and i just took it deeper than taking commercial art and stuff and in high school then it turned to uh, graphic design then it turns to multimedia then it turns to uh, whatever it is now i don't even know probably but they always had a term for it over the ages but oh yeah those are uh, nice Oh shit! Really nice. <laughs> yeah. Can you see this? What does it yeah. show? If I share this big one yeah. here, yeah, I see it. Yeah. That right was now. one of the first ones I did. And, wow! And I had just grabbed a, I just grabbed a pencil. I'm like, I have to do this. That's and crazy. That's like, what I did. Wow. Well, how old were did, you when you started drawing? Yeah, did you how ever, long did this yeah. happen before the accident, or was this all post this, accident? No, this this is po- this here is the fall of 2015. This Dude, is wow. yeah, you definitely got to download. Yeah, yeah, you got to download stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. So that that's crazy. One, yeah, that's sweet. This <laughs> yeah. One, thank you. Yeah, um, all these are see. awesome. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So that one, can you see that one too? I think, or does it show the minimum? It's, it's showing the thumbnails. Oh. Just it's click. showing you the thumbnails. How do I yeah. share the large scale ones? You probably you have, have to, to just go share desk- back and share the oh, desktop. Share desktop, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Jerry, you're screen. muted. Yeah. Jerry, I see you talking. Who? <laughs> Jerry. Oh, Jerry screen. Talking. Sorry, you can make desktop. those icons bigger. Okay, so if I do it this oh, yeah. way, oh, there, you wow. go. there you go. Yeah, yeah, very those cool. are okay. amazing. Yeah. So this was one of the first ones. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's like a dream catcher it, in a yeah, world of right uh, yeah. levels DNA. Yeah, yeah. like oh yeah, yeah. You know, there's some <laughs> there's some double helixes going on in there. <laughs> double helixes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's pretty trippy stuff. So I do these kind of just okay. Yeah. Whatever you want to yeah. call them. <laughs> sigils. Them yeah, sigils. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the, the, yeah. This God. is a drawing. I, circles. I, so and um, when I do the drawings, uh, I see. So I do them. I I do them mostly at night because I see better because I see the reverse. Okay. So oh, it's pretty, man. It's weird. Yes. Oh, you're like, so, a, yeah, okay. I know what you're saying. So um, I'll just peel through these while we're talking, if yeah. you like. I don't no know. No doubt. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Beautiful okay. Drawings. Thank you. Um, See that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I was just going to say, like, that's what happened. The thing that happened with me with, with art is like, mm-hmm. I, when I switched, because I, I, I wanted to do what I thought as a career Mm -hmm. oh yeah i'm gonna i want to do i want to do art for a career so Mm -hmm. so going through the system of what it is you know like and for me to get a profession in it i kind of stopped not stopped it but like i didn't pursue it right after school i skipped like a couple years and Mm -hmm. then 
because I was painting car. I was doing auto body painting cars and shit, doing custom designs, airbrushing shit like that. Oh, okay, yes. And, and 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 but at the same time, uh, still physical art at the time. You know, maybe not with a pencil or anything. You know, I would sketch things out, stuff like that. But like, mm-hmm. um, but anyway, so cool. I ended up doing a hospital stint for uh breathing issues from all the paint mm. and shit and i yeah it put me in the hospital for seven days basically yeah, in the long run wow. absolutely yeah you gotta be careful with that but oh yeah, some of yeah. The samples. it yeah. was fucked up man but like that yeah I, like I, and i thought i was gonna do that as a career you know like right. and just stay in that whole field and then i got i got out of that and i just was bumming around for a little bit doing this other random shit landscape and stuff but then right. talked to my parents and they were like hey you want to go to art school because this school came to my high school it was pittsburgh technical institute and uh so i said sure mm-hmm. uh let's go check it out you know they're having a you know they're it's the beginning of the year for the enrollment down there so i went down a little bit before it started and i did like a, since i was out of school for a little while they kind of want to right have a little commitment thing for you like to see if you'll actually do it so i had to go like three months before Got you. and uh but yeah i went through that and that's when the whole computer thing took off this was like late 90s uh 2000 you know like so i was learning uh some html shit gr- okay. web design but yeah, then yeah. At, yeah but all graphic all relatable like uh photoshop all adobe stuff sure and it took off from there to uh, me moving back 2000 and so I, yeah, I was down there for like almost three years hmm. but um graduated came back home james's uh, worked, life story yeah man yeah <laughs> came back home and and but doing that it fucking killed the dream of of producing art like yeah. you all you're doing is working for everybody else right and, i understand yeah, that yeah, yeah. and, and it now, just now nobody appreciates the process of nah, old school they're like Give me a drawing. Give me a whatever. (laughs) People, you know, they can say, oh, your art's so great and all that. But who wants to buy it? Nobody. Sure. (laughs) Which sucks because it's, you know, it's it's great therapy. That's what I was kind of, I guess, my long winded dumb story of of do what you want to do for you and uh, and and fuck everyone else (laughs) because because, dude i mean like i don't know whatever i made batman the other day because i wanted to finally i was like fuck it you know but uh so yeah and i i I ended up hating it in the long run after a 15 uh, yeah 16 year career in it i was like fuck it i'm Uh, done yeah yeah Yeah. no i understand yeah Yeah, i uh, i was an artist before but i had never worked in this medium or anything Right, so, yeah. and it completely changed, completely changed, completely changed. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And I do. Yeah. I, yeah. I have tons of images, so I have to show them to you. <laughs> Cause they'll, they, they are, <clears throat> they, it's weird because they kind of trip me out too. Cause oh. <laughs> you know, yeah. huh. my shit was not like that. And yeah. yours will blow. Yeah. That oh, blows thanks. my shit away. And my oh. shit is just fucking lame oh. stuff for t-shirts. Oh, that's, <laughs> no, that's not good. Well, that was my yeah. longest career stint you know i did 12 years at one company so it's like mm-hmm. uh, i probably have yeah. fucking two million designs of the word the and the word school <laughs> yeah gotcha <laughs> it's all it was all a lot of tech uh, a lot so, of typography mm-hmm. notice uh what? you you okay go ahead jerry because mm-hmm. i'm gonna take this another direction i was yeah. just my sister owns a, a sports printing shirt jerry she just muted yourself <laughs> What are the You're odds? Muted. Ah, Synchro. It. Yeah, it's called Smooth Ink. Smooth Ink. Nice. In <laughs> Tinley Park. Smooth Ink. <laughs> yeah, and she does like you know the sports shirts for mm-hmm. all the local teams, etc. That's all. Yeah, same type of thing that we did, or yeah, I did, or whatever. But yeah, man, it got old for sure in the end, and I couldn't sit in front of the light box anymore. <laughs> right. So, Ivan, yeah, you I talk a lot was. about uh, mm-hmm. chronic pain on your channel. I'm seeing what's 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 up with this, like pr- chronic pain uh, advocacy. Uh, yeah. Holes. <laughs> well, yes. Okay. So, prior to the TBI, I also have been a chronic pain advocate, and uh, well, I, I'm a, I have chronic pain. So, um, my paintings before the TBI revolved around chronic pain and being a voice for 
chronic pain, but um, I, I wrote a chapter for the National Institute of Health that got published nice. at the beginning of 2011 um, as, a, as a patient with, you know, patient's perspective. And so I wrote that. And um, so the year that that came out again was 2011. And of course I get the TBI in the fall. So now I'm working on chapter two for them, which I have to really get finished. And um, so what I'm doing on my YouTube channel is um, because there's, you know, uh, what I call the addict agenda going on. There's an opioid crisis going on. Oh, absolutely. And so Synchro. I thought, well, it's about time I just start really vlogging and talking about um, all of the trauma that I've sustained pre-TBI, because now I'm writing about after the TBI. And so going through that process of it, it's this, it's like so much that you can't believe one person endured this, to be honest with you and not to sound, but it's, it's, an, it's, it's nutty how, what I've, I've had done. And so I'm, I'm walking through that process uh, Wednesday mornings. I do this live share of my story with chronic pain and being chronic pain advocate. And, um, and then I've been doing these little mini kind of news things because I find it interesting with this whole opioid there. So they're cutting opioids for chronic pain patients. It's inhumane. It's disgusting. Uh, at this point, uh, veterinarian animals get better care than humans do for chronic oh. pain. And it was interesting because last week the F the FDA DEA approved three interesting things. One being the digital pill, the other being the auricular withdrawal device. And the third being Syndros with the, which is a synthetic marijuana. Mm. You can't tell me that that, you know, you can't tell me that this is not linked into uh, the addict agenda is what I hashtag yes. addict agenda is what I'm calling it. Marijuana for what purpose? Of big pharma. So, uh, Medical in, marijuana? So they can basically they, take over the regular marijuana? So, okay. Like, so, so, their pill. so what happened is they're cutting in 2018. You're going to see a lot of suicides. And it, there's, I feel there's, there could be a prohibition coming with opioids. And what happened is they lumped every, every freaking person that takes a narcotic into a drug addict category. Yep. And mm -hmm. I call it the grand purge and it's, it's, it's an agenda. So I'm like, okay, so what is behind this? What big pharma, what's going on here behind this? Because now, you know, it was um, fentanyl and oxycodone in the pill mills, big ones in Florida of things being imported in um, that created this kind of drug addict frenzy, but drug addicts can have chronic pain too. So anyhow, they've lumped everybody in to this fentanyl issue. And it, it's, it, there's so many lies in it. It's insane. And so people with legitimate chronic pain, um, there's, there's actually been several suicides from people that suffer from fibromyalgia because of this cut. Mm. And in 2018, it's going to get really bad. So anyhow, so I've been kind of observing and like, what, okay, what really is going on here? And what, you know, big pharma always has something right around the corner. So of course they've got, so they get one, the digital pill, the digital pill is um, being tested and it's, it's to monitor. I question, are they going to be saying you can have your opioids only if you take the digital pill and the digital pill, it checks in with your smartphone, tells you how much you've taken and God knows what else. It's a honey trap. It's a DNA trap, you know, et cetera. So, if, but if you say, if you decline that, so let's say they say you can have your pain medication only if you take the digital pill. But if you decline that, what if they say, okay, you have to, now you're going to have to withdraw. So we're going to slap this auricular device, which is a device that attaches to your ear and it has electrodes in it. And these electrodes go into your it, it, certain points on the side of your head. And of course that goes into your brain and um, it affects the amygdala. Now the amygdala, amygdala um, deals with oxy, your oxy, your cotton naturally, and it um, controls fear. Mm. Well, yeah, I can't wait to still stick a D E W R F uh, device <laughs> on my ear so that, you know, how I have access to not only my withdrawing, but to my fear. Uh, no, thank you. So then right after they released those two, it was like a day or two after the DEA approves the drug 
Syndros, which is made by INSYS, I-N-S-Y-S, which is a pharmaceutical company out of Arizona. And it's a synthetic marijuana and it's going to be a class two where marijuana is still a class mm. one. And of course, this is Arizona. Now, that pharmaceutical company last year paid over a half a million dollars on a campaign against marijuana. Wow. You know, what there are they, you go. Yeah. They're yeah. creating the synthetic version. Yep. Come one, come all. Get your free marijuana pills. There you go. Yeah. So, and <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyhow, Man. so, I, yeah. And, and I it's, have chronic pain uh, because I've had it's an this. injectable, by the way, Syndros. <laughs> Right, so it is. Well, oh, so, so it's like a like, like your your, your um you have to go blood to pressure first. thingy, you know? Psh, yeah, yeah. No, you have and, to go well, get a shot. Oh, you get a really, shot. Oh. What's really unsettling is the digital pill, and that's by AIcure.com. So check that little ditty out sometime. AI is the or, cure. Watch my videos. AI is my, yeah, definitely. Watch so, my videos. Because, so to take any meds, you're gonna have to yeah, like literally have to sign a waiver to take this fucking pill. See that, dig- yeah. that yeah. digital yeah. pill interests me because yeah. i mean i i i had a background with, me. dude it's it's crazy but i mean like i've i've had tr- trouble with opiates in the past and, and what i if, feel yeah, like what if you're like if something like yeah. that like <laughs> where some dude just couldn't have sold me his pills like digital like that's crazy but i don't know it's saving your life i don't know yeah i, I'm not, yeah. I don't know how i feel i'm, about I'm this. almost gonna say i don't think anybody don't should take a digital that. pill yeah but yeah, but yeah, that's no. messed up. Uh-huh. You don't no. know what they're putting in that. Yeah, that yeah. is true. That is very true. So that's the yeah. problem. Do your, the problem do your research, these are, folks. These are, these <laughs> yeah. are sugar-coated, they're sugar-coated yeah. honey yeah. traps, and that's yeah. what this is. And so, yeah, yeah check out those videos because I've been more – so now – so I'm kind of I, – I. so before this, I had a, over 35 surgeries. I broke my neck, my back. I've been mm. rebuilt, reborn, died – the whole da, 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 and that whole <laughs> that whole scenario is just interesting alone. And I come back, I come back as a new person, new artwork, new everything. And then and now I'm I see what's going on with this opioid thing. And um I well, hello, I still have chronic pain. So I'm trying to address things and be a voice because you have to advocate, right? So mm-hmm. uh yeah. So and um moved through the whole <clears throat> new age cult stuff and then now <laughs> doing new this and, and focusing on my channel and so and then monday nights i do a live discussion with my my friend lisa tenney and we're doing it's kind of like somewhere between uh woo and mainstream so last night we're we're going through this process right now of exiting the extremities of woo and talking about narcissists and cult leaders and the rampant uh infectious cult mentality and guru oh. status in alternative media and that whole circus because it is horrid so, so you don't subscribe to gaia is that what you're trying to tell me <laughs> i love david wilcock <laughs> oh god man dude yeah like no, no, I, I know no, what you're saying no, about no. that rampant bs man it's just yes like Jerry, I, I, did you tell them about uh, Mucho Dinero, my authentic Nazca mummy? I thought, I'd let did you, you guys know about. I have one. Oh, you have a you have a Nazca oh, mummy? Yeah, you have a mini one, <laughs> don't you? Yeah. Yes, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen it on this, the hive. So, hey, yeah. Yvonne, Yvonne, I I read in the paper or in the on the internet. <laughs> oh man, DNA no. came back as actual. So, this is oh, this look, is my Mucho. internet connection just dropped. That's hilarious. What's that? <laughs> I was so explaining. Is, Go ahead. Oh, sorry. I couldn't hear. Uh, so it was my birthday yesterday and Mucho made an appearance. Oh, on happy my, belated on my, yeah, yeah, thank you. So that's Mucho De Niro because when I saw the whole um, NASCA alien mummy thing, because I used to do sculpture design for movie sets, uh-huh. um, I thought, oh, I'm going to make one of these mummies. And I did it, you know, in like two hours. So Yeah, it looks um, like I, identical. <laughs> yeah. So when you, when you go to my YouTube channel, Groovy Bean Dark Brew, I have a couple spoofs there <clears throat> that you yeah. might want to check out because those spoofs have some messages about a certain uh, new age cult. Spoof so the spooks. You know about that. <laughs> so... so. So wait, the Nazca mummy isn't an alien? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Man, you're killing my <laughs> dreams, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, the DNA tests have come back, and they're not human. Oh, Whoa. Uh, whatever, <laughs> Jerry. Don't don't trigger oh, anybody. <laughs> it's all shenanigans. 
know, Dude, one timey, one timey Musan was involved with that. It's Roswell slides round two. <sighs> Just timey oh, Musan gosh. pedals bullshit. It's well, and then you have to look at who else in that whole camp is trying yeah. to promote it and sell it as authentic and the whole thing yep. and it's it's just if you step back though there's like a, pi- a handful of people who are just out there trying to get money yeah and then Tons. there's, there's yeah. like a threaded group of organized things going on and they're yeah. succeeding Correct. too dude guy's subscriptions Correct. are skyrocketing that's the sickening part I who owns it's horrible Gaia. I don't know, George Nori. Oh, Kudos. we looked it up, dude. <laughs> we looked it up, man. I think fucking um, uh, Clear Channel owns them. Oh, or, Clear oh, Channel? Owns yeah. Them? Okay, yeah, you got to go way deep, but yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure Clear it's Channel deep. owns them. I wonder if yeah. they were tied to any of the Saudis that were taken down. <laughs> 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 They're part of the rat line. <laughs> <laughs> they're over there on a covert mission looking for fake mummies and they're taking people out <laughs> yeah, no like, but like this dude owned um 51 percent of the four seasons hotel yes on yes. twitter yeah etc 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 i i don't 17 percent of gaia you never know <laughs> yeah. not gaia clear channel clear channel yeah, oh, clear man. channels yeah because I think anything he has a finger in has kind of this leftist uh whatever's Definitely. going on there that craziness Insanity. And it One is crazy. Insanity. Mm-hmm. Serenity now. Yeah. <laughs> we need oh. we need the poll to air our grievances. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> this oh. is the Festivus poll. Festivus. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> for the rest of us. Festivus for the rest of us. Oh. So oh, what else were we gonna talk about? Oh. And a fantastic outline. I totally forgot. Uh-huh. So, um, last year you got to go to Mount Shasta. <gasps> did I? Oh my yeah. goodness! I did. <laughs> How was I that? did. I was there. What was that? Sorry, cut out there for me. Was it fun? <sighs> yeah, I. It was interesting. It was fun, and it was uh, observing, and. Uh, yeah. What else do you want to know? Um, did the Agarthans ever show up? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Damn them. No. Have, have you been able to travel to any, like any other like kind of sites or anything? Just or just is that just kind of one particular uh, trip that you went on? And it happened to be around that area or like? Oh, for the Shasta the, thing, the, I was yeah. I was at a, I was at the Mount Shasta um, SSP conference. Okay. Traveling with. SSP, uh, really? (laughs) Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, I was um, doing, uh, I was a radio host for, um, at the time, uh, FDN, full disclosure now. Okay. And so I was traveling with them and um, interviewed uh, Corey Good, Lori Eisenhower. Holy and, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, Dr. Michael Salen, Rob Potter. So that's. Did Corey Good sit with his foot up on his lap the whole time? No. Like, <laughs> did, did Will Cock have his hand up his ass? <laughs> <laughs> we, no, I, I mean, I don't want to trash anybody. No. Kind of, sort of, not really. Dude, but, I'll uh, trash them all just, day. I don't give a yeah, shit. I, don't, I mean, it's just. it. <laughs> I like the fantastical. That's how we all kind of like got into this shit, but it's just like I mean, right, dude, I believe flat earth over blue avians. 100 <laughs> percent I'd take dude. other I I would take a flat earth over a blue avian reality <laughs> any day. But flat earth I can see. It's all blue funny avians, so I don't see them. Physical <laughs> threats start, you know, and physical yeah. threats. Yeah, and, that's crazy. Dude, what's a threat? Let them come and find me. That's me though. <laughs> Look, they, who knows? Don't, they make bad threats. And it, make up their threats. It's yeah. a form of mind control. Yeah, true. Oh, it's all mind control. It's it's, is that like gang stalking? You yeah, want to get into gang stalking? stalking? There's a gang stalking video that exists right now on me that's still up. And oh, yes, really? I was threatened. And I don't really like to talk about it jokingly because I don't find it to be funny. So. Yeah, we we're not joking. Yeah, about we. It. Yeah. Okay. But before <laughs> we get serious, I did make a, vid- a response video to that gang stalking video of which she speaks. Wow! Yes, I? I believe I. Yeah, you showed me that a while ago. That was pretty, okay. pretty interesting. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, that's anyway. some nonsense. I don't want that. We she don't. We don't need no bad vibes. Real. We don't need no bad vibes. We don't need no bad vibes here. Man. <laughs> yeah. I want to get back to the Can ultimate, the ultimate yeah. love blanket that you were envisioning at that at that time. Because love blanket. Yeah. I don't know. You know, like when we first started this, this was like it's a passion project, and it's all about just spreading love spreading and love. stories and like and reaching for connection with people you know like and finding really interesting people to talk with and you mm -hmm. are definitely one of them no doubt about it yeah Thanks. like but you know <laughs> you have to talk about the darkness in order i to, I, I understand uh, yeah. you know because because mm -hmm. if love isn't everything if if that's what it is then it's apathy you have to have all the emotions well, it, it gets out of balance. duality yeah, yeah because balance. right yeah and that's mm -hmm. what i was trying i guess i'm trying to say is like uh God, there's so much negative bullshit like around and even in our circles and all this stuff, it, it could get overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And we were just wanting to put a different spin on some things. But we do we do joke about crazy shit. We do. I don't know. You know, but at the same time, when like hey. someone like you that's going through something like that went through. See, that, yeah, that's that's through, the thing. Yeah. yeah. I, this is a, this is a whole new experience. So, yeah, it's yeah. I, I apologize. Yeah, well, no, you can yeah, ask I, me questions. I, no. Absolutely. No, I'll. I'll answer as best I can. Uh, nobody's really uh, just asked anything. So, I mean, not tonight. I meant yeah. Have you ever seen a never... UFO? You ever have I any have. experiences? <laughs> yes, I have. Wow. Yeah. Let's hear them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, well, <laughs> this week? <I've> seen... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I, you know, I've seen uh, interesting crafts or and orbs, these, uh, you know, um, and then you, you get told to take a picture and you take a picture. There's nothing there, but you mm. look at the film and there's something in the film. And, uh, those, those are, in, you know, uh, well, in fact, when, when uh, I was up in Shasta, man, did I see some stuff out there? That was crazy. You know, Do you and, attribute that to the different, uh, hmm. would you say that's some kind of energetic vortex in, in and around Shasta? Shasta right? To me, to me, Shasta is not a good place. Mm, no, bad vibes. <laughs> yeah. So, but I think it's, I, I see it more as a crossroads of energy lines or grids or something. It's an, something yeah. There is, it a, is it a ley line yeah, area? Yeah, say that is it's an, an energetic line. area. It's like Sonoma, I guess, or whatever that is in Arizona, where those kind of things manifest, appear, yeah. grow. Arizona is amazing as far as like en feeling energy or that yeah. kind of but Shasta has this ominous, um, I mean, Northwest visually is. is beautiful, but it just had this weird, yeah, yeah. So, that mountain, you ever that been mountain. to the Integratron? What's that? No. Isn't that that it's that all it's wood in, structure? Yeah, yeah, it's in the desert or something. They built it, uh, a long time ago. Yeah, a long, long time, time ago. ago. I have to look I don't it up. know what that is. I'm, I'm it's a harmonic resonance like dome thing that's like huge and i think it's all made out of wood and has this giant concrete oh, structure wow. on top of it it was made uh, by a nazi wasn't it i don't know oh, dude, it's possible i don't know i've it never heard of it yeah. yeah 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 it's a it's a it's an acoustic dome thing mm. right acoustically okay. perfect i guess it's supposed to be oh, it pretty amazing george van tassel he wasn't van yes, george van tassel yeah. was built mm. in i always thought it was a nazi i don't know why 1953 or no you just said a nazi you guys are funny to watch because you're all talking at the same time. Looking oh, yeah, I have a dude, dude, we, we, We've developed this hive mind from talking every I night where this. we could just go. I'm <laughs> seeing this. It's just yes. a stream of consciousness. That's okay. Well, you know. I don't know. Yeah, we're not your normal interviewers okay. or type people. No. no. I'm We'd like to hang out. Bugging. We like to meet people, hang out, yeah. spread yeah, the love. Yes. Share, yeah. the, share the love. Yeah. Share the love. Uh, yes. Share the love yeah. and whatever diseases may come with it. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I had to go there. I, I, I did. I love. had to go there. You know what? It wouldn't be cruising there with you. steak without crude humor. Hey, <laughs> hey. hey. At least nah, we got. Yeah. Or I'm not even going to say that out loud. <laughs> Jerry's <laughs> got something brewing up, man. I don't know. It's it's not it. <laughs> Some Is Nazi it joke or something. So what's up, go, with, uh, what's up with Mount Shasta? Like, where's that? I've heard it, but I don't exactly know what it's all about. Like, I've, I've just heard it said on several podcasts. Mount Shasta. The, 
the conferences that go there or oh, okay Austin? that's what it is there's con or, there's conferences okay. there's well, been it's conferences a, it's a up there and there's right. a mountain there and there's a lot of people have experiences up there and you know you oh. know you hear the stories about an underground base there you know well what was i okay. listening i was listening to something today where they said how area 50 uh maybe it was tinfoil hat but area 51 is just a cover like the real bases are in a mountain and then when mm. i heard mount shasta that just kind of triggered that hmm. memory there's I forget the mountain range in California that the day over the week before Roswell, some pilot, I forget his name, mm. he reported um the if I remember correctly, like at the mountain opening up like a garage door and it, the actual term flying saucers was coined by the, the paper that reported this or mm. he reported it mm. that he saw fly, they look like flying saucers disc you know for plates yeah fly into the mountain and it closed up interesting. And I don't remember what mountain, but there's mm -hmm. tons and tons of UFO stories about the ground opening up. Yeah. And there's bases underground and mountains having hologram doors or garage doors or fake stuff. I don't know. You know, mm -hmm. I'm sure that shit is everywhere. I bet there's yeah. something under Mount Rushmore, too. <laughs> I just think like that's behind just. The eyes. Yeah, it's oh, behind the eyes. Yeah. There's something just. You put that much construction into a mountainside, you're bound to put something on the inside of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. You, uh, do you know the history of Mount Rushmore? No, I would love to hear it, though, Jerry. Oh, man. <laughs> it's it, it was a struggle. Just put it that way. Yeah, it's, didn't it take like 100 years or something? Or, or it took a really no, long it's time. It's unfinished, actually. <laughs> and in the back, there's a hall of records that the guy, I can't remember his name right now, the, the sculptor who... who did it um also wanted to make like a, a hall of records that's supposedly under the sphinx in egypt mm. behind there's there's a story that under the sphinx behind it you go down beneath there's like a hall of records and there's the emerald tablets or whatever are in there mm. maybe that's where they snuck all the books from alexandria to or something no those are in the rome basement and the vatican basement those are in the like verified so, no, but probably. Well, Rome was yeah, there. Andrea was part of Rome. I mean, it's all the same thing. Right. Anyway, <laughs> there were, and as Red Pill Junkie told us, other libraries were bigger. Yeah, Remember? that is true. He did say mm -hmm. that. Right. So, um, this dude, yeah, and he died before he could finish it, and he was mm. fighting. He ran out of funding. The government was trying to shut it down. They didn't want it. Was it was a good idea when you started, but now it's like what. <laughs> 14 years later, you know, right. we're not paying this anymore. It wasn't that long. It was like four years, I think. But his son picked up the mantle and, and finished it off. But they never mm. the hollow records in the back. He's also the same sculptor who did the Stone Mountain sculpture here in, in near Atlanta. Aha. Uh -huh. hmm. What do you think about ghosts, Yvonne? Mm. 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 My house is haunted. For like, like for real? That's awesome. By your, yeah. by your husband, though. No, my house is haunted. It's haunted here. It you is have haunted. like poltergeist you activity, or like do you just get cold? Uh, cold I had, spots, or oh yeah, cold spots. Lights turn on, TVs turn on, things <sighs> turn on. But I, I had actually a very interesting experience not too long ago. And um, I will actually think the whole street I'm on is haunted, and I'm not the only there's many neighbors that feel this we're on some kind of weird ley lines i think wow. but um i was uh watching watching a movie and i had gotten this really weird ominent feeling and i didn't feel alone in the room i'm like okay what what's going on here and so i just kind of sat there and i felt like okay i i had this acknowledgement in in myself that something was going to happen and it's just sitting there and and I get this hard smack punch on my hand, and it popped me up. And I, I, it was so fast, and I quickly had a huge bruise on my hand. Oh, wow. and I ran, yeah, I ran out of the room, ran down the hallway. And I'm like, holy shit, holy shit, you Dude, know? Okay, uh, yeah. Along those lines, have you ever? I mean, have you ever got into um, uh? not lucid dreaming but the next step the uh, the, uh like astral you, travel or something astral or? travel <laughs> and, and the stories of uh of um 
a, mm-hmm. a couple of these people. Um, God, I had the book. Uh, fuck. Robert Monroe. Yes. And how these people, like, like how they're able to travel out. You can actually pinch people and shit. And it got that deep, like yeah. with that kind of stuff. So it's very relatable, like maybe yeah. to something like that. I don't know. Yes, I yeah. lucid, I lucid dream all, all the time. Astral travel a lot. Exciting. I'm, I'm. <laughs> you trying, can well, astral travel. I'm, you you good at you good at it? Jerry, we talked about this. Oh, I want to hear a lot about this. Yeah, I'm so it. into this right now. Well, like, see, I'm going through this thing. I'm trying to really understand. Yeah. Um, due to the exiting of that new age cults in my opinion that's what it was coming out of that and uh-huh. i'm trying to also understand um when are coincidences not coincidences when somebody has so much shit happen to them when is it is and it, then it led me to research targeted individuals uh, so synchronicities individuals, <laughs> love it yeah. the psychological operations behind that and the contour pro and all these kinds of things and i was trying to understand you know because I have dreams that are just so real. I mean, I wake up and I'm freaking exhausted. Wow. And, um, and so what did I'm Nick the rat say about that. Well, what was I doing? <laughs> what? When? <laughs> oh, their yes. last guest. Yeah. He we talking had a... about waking up tired and he said something really funny when he woke up. Like, I don't like, remember. Wow, I was just on a point. <laughs> I'm sorry. I totally didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember where it was at, so you'll have to. <laughs> about uh, no, just about, to, yeah, about yeah, waking ahead, up Jerry. exhausted. Yeah. Waking up exhausted. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> I, you know, and understanding what is it that we're really doing or experiencing neurologically, and having an under, understanding through the brain injury itself, I feel that we have more brain waves than the medical system is telling us from the experiences that took place that I have. So I'm trying to have an understanding of what's going on. And then if you research information into radio frequencies and direct energy weapons and this kind of technology, if there's brain waves that they haven't told us that we have, which I believe we do, then they can do certain mind control. Yeah. So what, what if these astral travels and or the lucid dreams themselves are just implanted memories or somebody access, you know, or a- accessing, um, because so I'm trying to process my own conclusions with this now, and I'm still wondering because I, you know, the the, well, the they had those programs, so you know, the, the old programs that were mm-hmm. they were yeah. they were trained fucking Correct. people yeah. to go out and do that, man. Yeah. And like, and, yeah, and I had some weird experiences in Los the, Alamos, the remote view, yeah. Yeah. yeah, remote viewing, uh, the astral, uh, like the whole um, uh, Montauk, you know, like that whole thing, like mm-hmm. the that were the whole submersive saltwater activity to venture right. out and in, in that travel in that realm. What, yeah, like so. What were your Los Alamos experiences? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, um, yeah. Well, it when I was in Los Alamos as a kid, I had some experiences that I would relate to as possible remote viewing um portal jumping these kinds of things because i have it's in i I remember you know i have those memories i don't know and i'm not claiming that i'm this that or anything else Mm -hmm. just sharing experiences and trying to find find understanding with them so um but i would have you know i would be able to see people but they wouldn't be able to see me in their Mm -hmm. homes that kind of thing so um yeah so so now you know, and I, and so now these experiences in whatever this dream state is, if you even want to call it a dream, because to me, it's just another reality. Uh, what is really going on? What are, what are dreams? I, I find so, it fascinating. Yeah. Uh, like I look, trying to look deep into that because I can do the lucid. I've done astral thing like a barely like one time it's not mm-hmm. as achievable as i thought it would be <laughs> gotcha the, the harder you try the harder it is i i, I that's kind of what i'm taking from it but um, but then if it is v2k if it's v2k which is voice to skull or any right. kind of targeting or you know if, if that's what it is do you really want it because uh yeah that's true yeah <laughs> right so i mean because you have to take a look at some of the the 
you know, deep in the woo of a uh, secret space program, alternative media people that claim have certain claims and this mm -hmm. and that and everything else. Is that all just implants? Is that what is going on? And, or is it all just bullshit? So I served in a lunch line with Obama on Mars yeah. <laughs> <laughs> type shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I have two questions. <clears throat> um, the first was, do you think you were part of anything as a kid? Describe it, anything. You, did you live on base or on a base or near a base? Uh, I wasn't. Any... My family wasn't in the military. My father, he worked at all of, at Sandia, Montauk, Brookhaven, Fermi. Right. Oh my Livermore. God. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad worked but at it, all these places. But it sounds bad, but only because you think badly of these places. I, the I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure I'm he's just, got some stories. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. It depends on what kind of job he had, I guess. But uh -huh. uh, You'll have to keep. Yeah. I Sorry. have a hard time following sometimes because it skips <laughs> yeah. around and you ask it's, and then I have to. It's uh, James. Sorry. Was no, 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 it's okay. I. <laughs> so what was that, Jerry? Your dad was a physicist, yeah. Uh, but, engineer. Um, he engineer. worked uh, a semiconductor uh halodron yes. collider type yeah he, wow. <clears throat> gotcha fusion, so bomb, fusion bomb things that kind of stuff so that makes sense that he would go to all these labs it's oh a, my god i don't find that unusual at face value yeah but i'm not I know, i'm not implying time. anything i'm just telling him answering that you. was his job <laughs> yeah yeah right right well yeah. james went james went Ooh. <laughs> i just was I, I find that I've, I guess I've, my woo, my woo is interesting. Yeah, my, it's, it's, it's those are all trigger it's, words for us when you hear Montauk. It's interesting Ozark. stuff. You have to, yeah, you know, if you go in the rabbit hole, you're going to hear uh, many stories in regards to these places, and yep, you, right. you yep. know, you're trying to filter you know, out what is truth, what is disinfo, exactly. who are these people that have claimed these things, and how do you find out answers for yourself? And you ask questions which is what we're doing basically yeah. i mean that's what i like just talking and talking yeah, about absolutely. You know, I mean, it's just it, it's just a uh, mind expansion you know I'm, i have a, a pseudo yeah. sponge half of yeah. it works <laughs> but, but uh but <laughs> no, no right. like the yeah. one the one trigger word yeah. was the montauk and if you notice like in mm -hmm. movies now they're pushing that that term <laughs> yeah uh, yeah, they like really are. If you, uh, the, King Kong, the new King Kong, yeah, like, oh, it's Project yeah. Montauk, we're making fucking giant monsters, whatever, all but these crazy see, shit. And yeah. also, you see an increase in that, too, and you have to wonder if that ties into the whole Tom DeLong thing with Hollywood yeah. moving into the alternative oh, media God. now, and I'm what do you, sure what guys do you, pissed off What do you about think that. about Tom DeLong? <laughs> oh. uh, Tom DeLong, he is a tool. And He's a rock star. He yeah, that's about it. He's a rock it. star yeah. who yeah. did a ton. You know, if you want to talk about alternative stuff in the in the realm of alternative media and anything thereof, you have to pay attention to sigils and hand signs. Well, he was a rocker, yep. and, you know, doing those hand signs on stage. Was it just because he was a cool rocker? If you're going to buy into everything, you've got to take everything apart, correct? Yeah. So you go from this now to being on stage with these people and all this money in regards to a space space. Thing that has heavy marketing behind it now and it seems very hurried and i've observed some of his posts on twitter and he's talking about the sumerians and aliens and he's talking oh, about um an he has very bizarre posts and you you have to question you know uh, who's handling who here and what really is behind this oh, and you know everything it's got to be about you know with alternative media you know and that whole truther movement we're all yeah. against the mainstream you know you got mainstream moving in and then the whole new age agenda which is a psyop operation i'm sure they're in a tizzy because they're like wait the long's moving in on our territory so there's this whole market how do we go how do we go frenzy going on how do we go underground under the underground that's where mm, we need to go <laughs> that's the fringes that is the fringes ah that's yeah yeah, because I'm going to go that far down because I don't want to be involved with the, these guys bleeding into just muddying up the water. It's, that's just, it's that's a, exactly it's a, what it's it is. It's an agenda. Yeah. It's, to me, it's a very apparent agenda, and it's money. It's a business. It's a big business because yep. you see him posting his stuff, and then he po he posted pictures of his new um, space 
glow in the yeah. dark uh, yeah, book. Yeah, that's his, his oh, book. His glow and you're in the like, dark okay, book? now you're selling a book. Okay, yeah. you're marketing that. Got well, it. But really, what's going on here? And, you know, are they going to be throwing out Project Blue Beam and then you see you actually do see blue, blue avians come down? Oh, then it's all going to make sense. And then the Vatican's going to chime uh-huh. in and the Nordics and that, 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 that. Who knows? And that'll all be you know i guess constructed correlated together you know like yeah because if that yeah like yeah the whole project i mean god how long ago did we hear about that a long 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 time ago and like, what? blue beam that project blue, yeah, yeah. and just 60, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so and that's what i like for me never being an experience or anything i was always like ah just give me project blue beam but you know it like anything that's out now it's just fake and then you're talking about some of the cooler things with orbs and stuff that you've seen. Now yeah. I, I consider like everything that 99% like what's flying around out there. We made it except uh, that yeah. 1% are these orbs. Like, there, I don't know what those there's are. Some man. In, yeah. yeah. There's some real <laughs> interesting mm-hmm. things. And, but then also after my TBI, like during, you know, when I look outside the window, I can see the air. Yeah. I see wow. these vibrations. I f- see things really interesting things now there's people that will probably oh she's schizophrenic oh this oh that you can say whatever you want to say that's your opinion and you own it i'm can, just sharing can you see what... the waves on cell towers yes i have okay yes. suzanne can see those too yeah so. yeah and there's this like bioluminescence it's like i think there's a cross between like planetary energies and the things that really freaking drive me nuts is electrical um, certain towers and, and electrical things like that. But I've also correlated some of the these vibrational stackings when I see something jagged, usually an earthquake or a volcano kind mm-hmm. of ties in there. It's interesting oh, cool. stuff. I don't know. Yeah. You know, I'm not, again. Are you around stuff. any like wind farms? You know, the, the uh, you ever hear of any, cor- I've heard correlations between crazy frequency, frequency problems and, in you know, issues with these, um, uh, the, the windmill farms the, the wind the wind farms yeah, the windmills no, and like they fuck the, the air farms. all up and like yeah, yeah. it's no. and, and it's creating kill flocks of birds well that but no it's creating like head trauma for people and it, shit like, interesting yeah, yeah. Uh, no yeah. I, I i we don't have any of those uh, near us here yeah i mean i don't have fields it's, of them but we have sporadic ones for dude, we got huge that got some, fields of them yeah, like yeah. in between here yeah. and like yeah in indianapolis do, oh dude they're all over the place i'm I'm curious what you'll see when 5G goes online. That I was, was just going to ask question. you about so that. Five, yes. <laughs> what, how the, how, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I meant how I'm. I'm curious what the pattern distortion differences will look like. That's what I meant. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I, it, that is an interesting question, and I'll you know I don't know, but I also question with the 5G. And here's where I go. You know, I'm looking at what they're doing yeah, with the whole opioid thing. Frequency. What about what if that auricular device taps into 5G? What if that? Oh man! You know, so they could take all these people <laughs> that are withdrawing. If you want to go into <laughs> woo here, and then they right. can tap into their fear response uh, with this auricular device and go just boom, mass boom, mind boom. control it's all it is so, so you know and, and if you're one the to believe IoT the targeted really... individuals you know what really is this 5g and what really is mind control and what really can go on yeah okay. that, that i i just had a uh, uh an issue with this opioid thing like okay. not me personally but like yeah. i do property management and a kid 26 years old just like two days ago i've just found this dude like mm-hmm. he did he od'd on yeah wow. he, he was a past uh <laughs> yeah past heroin user Aww. sober for like i don't know <sighs> maybe a year i didn't know this when i when i had you know he was a pretty normal kid like when i run into him and stuff yeah uh clean background and shit like that and he when i talked to him he's like yeah i'm just looking to get out of like this house i'm in and this craziness i want to just yeah. scale down normal life i'm like cool man i mean co- you know yeah come on over you know let's and so yeah he was cool like he rolled up on his bike yeah he, he seemed like a bike messenger kind of kid you know mm. like uh-huh. like that kind of dude but like yeah. quiet guy but um so through the, through the grapevine of living with all these all these people there you know like i just was talking to a guy today about it and he's like he's like dude he's like i'll tell you this much he's like i was outside having a smoke 
So it would have been like Saturday night and something happened and, and it triggered him like, cause he's like, he's like, it almost, he's like, you could tell he was like on a phone call or whatever. And he, and it was like, like if you got news that your mom died mm-hmm. or something that that kind of crying oh, just boy. breakdown Aww. and like oh my god They're like oh no and then then i find this out uh, yeah then, then i find this kid like a day Shame. later yeah so Shame. something traumatic happened yeah and something yeah. happened like Aww. i'm so sorry to hear that yeah it's yeah. crazy dude that, yeah. like that like you're talking about it is everywhere dude that shit is no you know, joke and and it's interesting, you know, in the in the deep woo of things, you know, we talk about my labs, which are military laboratory, you know, mm-hmm. the, the whole idea of my labs and what's happening on a daily basis every second of the day publicly is medical mind control and medical inhumane, irresponsible <laughs> guinea pig testing. So that that's happening all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and and so, you know, it's it's just it's. You have to let's let's start talking about those that that's that let's start talking about that and being some change for that and being a change for people that have chronic pain and and drug addict or not. You can still be drug addict with chronic pain, but it's like everybody is one accident away from living a life of chronic pain. So, you know, and uh, yeah, so I don't know, but they no, I, I, I would go down that 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 support hole even more support yeah support hole i'll call it that because like <laughs> hey man like dude i know yeah grim knows that all that stuff that that is no fucking joke dude oh, man. and that yeah. shit is being put, and that's the thing like, out, addicts, like pieces of candy addicts yeah. aren't bad people yeah. like we were just talking about this last night like dude, a lot yeah. of addicts like, like they're just genuinely good people they just get yeah. so consumed by the addiction and just it yeah. it paints this terrible picture on them like <clears throat> dude there needs to be more help there needs to be more help for these well, people out there. Right. And what's going to happen to all the chronic pain patients that are getting your help is the magic pill, whatever yeah. you're calling yes, it. Yeah. The, uh, Cause they're getting yeah, punished yeah. because of the addicts Correct. and yeah, it's just yes. help them all help everybody. Yeah. Like just, yep. it's, it's, it's going to be interesting to observe and, you know, and yeah, chronic pain, it, it is a daily warrior. I am a warrior and it it is not easy. And, um, you know, when you're going through withdrawals on top of chronic pain, that's going to not be a good situation that they're creating. So, um, I feel, you know, I, I couldn't even imagine that because, like, I got hooked on them with no pain at all. I just, I was a dumb mm-hmm. young shithead kid, just yeah. recreational yeah. eating them up. They make that easy. And, yeah. and the withdrawals were just, it made me feel like I had pains that mm-hmm. didn't even exist. Like, I just, I felt like I was in pain, yes. but there was none. There was no reason I should have been in pain. Like, it's, it's, mm-hmm. a, yeah. it's fucked up. I, it's, I would, I you know, yeah. And then you just kind of wonder what really is behind all of the medication of what they've tested mm-hmm. on us. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's a, that's tough dude energy drink energy drinks and weed were the only yeah. thing that got me off of that like oh. just high doses oh, wow. of caffeine and then just smoking uh. as much weed as i possibly could and it took like yeah, two months I, I, probably three months or something like but speaking of symbology james on your yeah. can there yeah, that's that's the, the devil sign right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Did you ever you remember that when that dude made that video like about the whole monster energy can and the, yeah, the symbology of it and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's the, yeah. Fucking yeah. tastes good though. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I can't those. I've never I like the Java them. monster. Oh, Java's good. Much. Yeah. I like coffee. Yes, yeah. exactly. I'm, I'm just strictly coffee now. Maybe yeah. five-hour energies. I love five-hour yeah. energies. When I've I need never them. had an energy drink. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I've had a ton of them, man. So yeah. much sugar in them, and sugar's the devil. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're coming to find that out. <laughs> no, there's no sugar in those. <laughs> just chemicals. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just some more chemicals. In monsters? Just chemicals and, yeah. I don't yeah. know about monsters, but there's like I don't think there's any in five hour energy. No, there isn't in five hour energies. No, but monsters are chock full of them. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, like I said, well, I did get a regular one this time. I don't really drink regular ones. I just I usually primarily drink the like the tea ones, and there's right. that that those are that's pretty basic. It's just juices and shit yeah, which is to, sugar i was but like on red bulls yeah. red bulls were my red bulls were my jam your, your microphone what? all real close i got one of those uh, microphones yeah, man. am i, I supposed to lean in and talk nah, like this? I, like just, I just i always wondered yeah. i just eat the mic you're too close now but maybe it, yeah it's supposed to be a baseball 
I like yeah yeah, yeah just this this length, yeah. This length. here I'll show you exactly what it sounds like so when I talk close it sounds like this right yeah but what, when I sit back here yeah where where you are you can hear how it okay. kind of sounds like a room does it echo so I should be closer to my microphone like this oh that sounds... won't echo. yeah yeah it won't echo <laughs> <Sounds like this. laughs> oh yeah she's gonna love was... the ASMR shirt I have planned for this episode let's, let's hey <laughs> hey guys let's hey. talk about those directed energy weapons oh, yeah. <laughs> let's talk about it let's talk about the California fires oh California yeah, fires directed on fire. dude I've been hearing yeah. a lot about this What's your take on it? I think it's nonsense, but that's right. I'm starting to, you know, I even wonder, you know, through, again, through this whole process of that freaking cult crap, I'm thankful for it because now I'm questioning everything. Well, what about chemtrails? What about the whole thing? How much of the whole thing is just complete and utter crap? All of it. I, I want to say, all yeah. Yeah. I, I, I definitely it. can tell with the, with, I, man, I, I, I hate to just, paint everybody in the pictures but like just with the chemtrails and stuff you know like that like oh they're fucking killing you i don't think that i just think they are con- controlling the outcome of these storms with because you can tell it's i definitely can see weather modification yeah it, it's yeah. storm front shit man when a storm is coming dude they fucking they, nail they them. Lay it down. yeah maybe yeah. Like, maybe yeah, so there's but something then, going but on then is that. it because there's more flight patterns than there were 30 years ago sure there's a flight is every it? second of every dude, hour of every I, day yeah listen, listen when storms <laughs> pop up though they reroute planes yeah you yeah. see you it, know? man. The, yeah, I know, I know, but that yeah. could account for why you see planes. What I don't right understand is, storm. I live right. Why next to an some days too, do you so. see a plane fly by <laughs> and they just dissipate behind, just no problem? And other days they linger for hours. Does that have to do with like atmospheric pressure or something that's beyond my stupid brain? Or it's probably <laughs> just, pressure, humidity, and fuel makeup. Because because Jerry, are, Jerry, we we like simultaneously post chem trails every day almost. Like just like uh-huh. skies are chemi today. Just, I mean, yeah, they they do it. You know, well, you they're see out it there in clouds, and then it sp- expands, and then you have no sun. So I think what it's the fuck? An additive. What is going on? <laughs> an additive. Some, the plane, going on? some airlines yeah. use an additive, which mm-hmm. produces that effect under certain atmospheric conditions. Well, at sense. least they can do is add yeah. some freaking color. Yeah. You know? Well, well, James, they, James your brother's a sprayer, isn't he? Yes, he is. My brother uh, is a 17-year Air Force uh, employee. <laughs> and, not, uh, not yeah, he though. does the on, the Air Force. He's in the only wing that is uh, that does spraying missions for the Air Force. Yeah. Really? Yeah, okay. He, uh, yeah, out of Youngstown, so Ohio. He? <clears throat> um, he doesn't fly with – he doesn't fly them or anything, but he goes to all these places. He is in charge of the base, basically. Huh. He's basically a commander at this point. He's like one <laughs> level below it. Did and uh, show? Yeah, I'm going to get him on. Yeah, man. so <laughs> what's he saying? I mean, what, well, what he doesn't he say that. that he'll, t- yeah. I'll, he'll tell you straight up what they are spraying. He, what he does okay. is like he goes to all these places like – where like he was just down in uh for Harvey the hurricane there yeah and they spray for bugs and shit like that like they spread knowledge yeah because like and, and he's got some cool stories and crazy videos I'm gonna get some videos of it like uh these dudes go in at night all through the night and they fly mm-hmm. like 200 feet above the ground and just fucking lay carpet of fucking spray yeah and with night vision on and shit yeah it's crazy like. But yeah, that's how they do it. Cause you imagine seeing that shit during the day, you'd be freaked out, man. Like I don't know, but but a lot of these places they are doing it, they're uninhabitable. They go out into the swamplands and do it because that's where all the these the mosquitoes stuff like mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. with all this standing water, you got to get rid of that shit. Yeah, so, so you know, yeah, yeah. and like mm-hmm. you see all of the these. Mm-hmm. Uh, on social media, you see the meme- I c- the memes or the memetic viruses. I there call. you go, virus style. It's meme yeah. magic. People put it really that is meme there. magic. It's yeah. mind control. It's a memetic it virus, and it goes I, in one, comes out the uh, other. So that's it's why like, I like so, the funny ones. <laughs> is it because of that that there's all this his there's uh, it creates the paranoia and the hysteria. Access to media really for sure. Happening. Yeah. What? Mm-hmm. How do we get to the truth? That's the freaking question. How do we really find out what's going on? Or and then there's the, the third aspect of people who say that our consciousness, that we control the weather. Right? Uh, I've never yeah. heard that. So we well, can't, like then, cloud busting and stuff? Cloud, and then, like, 
Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. you see there's articles. Well, if you eat this or do this, nothing will affect you. And it's what if you drink your piss. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But, I, you, know, but <laughs> Darky Darky crit- you know, critically thinking through all these things is what <laughs> needs to be done. I think so. Yeah. yeah. That's a good, that's a good way to, to put it because a lot. Yeah. Like, Logically, there is no end to the rabbit hole. So let's just no. talk about what we can talk about. Maybe just yeah. if you group think these things, maybe uh, if you are, if somebody is randomly listening, that's worried about chem. I mean, maybe just by listening to something, somebody talk it out and maybe you might calm down about it. It's a psyche thing, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, so and it's, it's also not you know, that we dismissed it out of hand and said, oh, sure. you're crazy. You know, yeah. these things that we've <laughs> yes. all looked into, and we say, yeah, it's real, but it doesn't seem to be a nefarious plot. I don't think so. No. Mm. Yeah. I, like and, you're well, talking and, about media. I think access to yeah. media is blowing yeah. fucking people crazy right now. Yeah. That's yeah, what it I, is. I agree. And that Lisa and I do this Monday night. We take things and we pull it apart and we're trying to, you know, I like that. And deprogram. Yeah. And deprogram. A deprogramming. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That, yeah. That's what it's about, you know. Yeah. yeah. Like with your, with the stuff that you're doing now with the, 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 uh, uh, the medical aspect of this, mm-hmm. these uh, opioids the and all that and shit, stuff, man, yeah. just, yeah. just, uh, deprogram it and break it down and maybe, uh, it, the, uh supplier demand the dot, the dot, the dot. Yeah, exactly. Have a conversation without the it. name calling and just the, yeah. the dogmatic yeah. views mm-hmm. on things, just open-minded yeah. talks. <laughs> cause, yeah. cause the, yeah, the, yeah, man, exactly. You don't, I mean, everyone, we're all people, we're all humans. We're, we're, one we're all so, one so giant race human uh, yeah and jerry oh, we're not talking code. about the ai <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're the npcs nah, fuck that. yeah i'm just talking about being human man and like everyone is human uh and bingo and that's yeah. what that's what's <laughs> happening in alternative media is it they're making it it's not okay to be human and you gotta be from freaking star cluster up there or some galactic counselor over here and, yeah. da, 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 and da, there's da, gotta da, be a line down the a middle and you gotta fight about it like and, the fucking yeah. left and the right and the, yeah it's just that it's, shit is mind-numbing it brings up an interesting mm-hmm. question what do you think about this new um ai boogeyman and the sides now which have drawn you know the good ai versus the bad ai uh and i'm not laughing i'm laughing but i'm not laughing that, i'm not sure what this ta- i don't know that i've seen as a good versus reason? bad oh, ai or do you just asking whether if there can be good ai or bad AI? no i'm i'm asking what so is uh, so there's there's lots of chatter on the internet about artificial intelligence and okay. rogue artificial intelligences and okay it's perhaps connection to the blockchain and et cetera, et cetera. You're not following this, are you? No, I'm this, following this, it. No, not, no, I mean, like, you're not following it on YouTube. No. no. Mm-hmm. Okay. So never mind. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I guess this is a different thing, but yeah, Bitcoin. Ten. Oh no! Ten I'm not going into thousand. <laughs> yeah. Ten thousand. Yeah. Today. It hit it, man. Anyway, we'll go back. We'll do that some other time. But uh, in the intro, tech news. Yeah, tech yeah. news. Yeah, tech I'm news. not. Re- I don't know much. I don't know no currency. <laughs> I don't know I don't, no currency. I don't know no I, currency. I'm out of that loop, that dude. Up. Yeah. Jerry's <laughs> our key guy to that shit. Yeah. Teach me out of Bitcoin. Yeah, I'm Teach not me out of Bitcoin. Fuck. Yeah. Nah. I, I, I couldn't i tried listening and i'm trying to understand the bitcoin thing but i have I, a hard time with it yeah yeah <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about it's, uh it's like a starbucks card that's all you need to know you put money on it and sometimes you'll have more when it's later <laughs> sometimes on. you'll have more sometimes Got it. You'll have let's let's go yeah. back to woo uh what do you think yeah. of woo. nibiru <sighs> what do i <laughs> yes. think of it i you know i d- again i <laughs> What have you deconstructed? Uh, the Bureau. <laughs> Has any of the prophecies from any of these people ever come true? I'm still alive, it? aren't you? No. no so we're, <laughs> we're, we're talking right it's now. Like, yes. So there's oh. your answer. Um, you know, th- there's your answer. What if uh, what if it was and we're in the blinking universe theory? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever right. heard of that. Or we were, maybe we all yeah. died on an alternate timeline and maybe. this is just we all died we're here right now. We could speculate yeah, we all are, night. Shout, we shout out to our guy. dude, SMQ. SMQ. Yeah. We're in a VR right now, and we're just avatars. And yeah, we're, we're all in stasis on the moon. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, what do you think His of the moon? Went, ah! <laughs> she yeah. just got so triggered. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so the moon is a soul grabber, right? Uh, <laughs> For all the loose out there. Right. That's uh, a great question. What do you think about the moon? What do I think about the moon? And it moon is an enigma, that space. little sucker. It looks peaceful up there. I it's, don't know. It's an enigma. It's it Ooh. doesn't make sense. I can say that, right? I think we're all in agreement on it. Do you doesn't think make we sense. do you think we landed on it? I don't think we landed on it. I I think we went. I'll go there. I'll go. I'll go full blown conspiracy. Because it's a we lot definitely closer did than, not land yeah. on the moon. <laughs> I, I'll play that side. I don't think we did when we say we did. And um, you know, if you want to go into the whole Kubrick oh. thing, well, or yeah. whatever, but I think we were right. I don't. Yeah. We were competing with the other country, so we appeared like we did. But yeah. I think I can be I, on board with that for sure. A cold war tactic. That, <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> I think it's very suspicious that to say that we haven't been back and haven't done all these other things. So the chances that there is a secret space program and things going on, you mm. know, we're far more advanced than we really know is a higher probability. And, but I, I think there's so much kept from us. The moon doesn't make any sense, you know, but um, you have to, Ah, you know, the whole, you know, that saying when you see things on TV, um, it's 20, 30 years ahead, ahead. Yeah. right? You yeah. know, because I can remember being a kid watching, um, and it was old then, Abbott and Costello go to the moon. And, you know, that back then, and it was really happening, right? 20 years. Yeah. So we see these things about Mars and Elon Musk and these kinds of things. And you're like, oh, We've already been to Mars. Already there. been there, been back. You don't know, need to go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have yeah. to, you know, um, yeah. if you're into a, the universe exists theory, right? <laughs> that, right, right. Yeah. So, well, like, yeah, like Jerry talks about, it's like a plane, you know, there, a plane, a, a, a universe, a plane in this, universe, you know, like you can fold this space time maybe you can travel you know yeah. stuff like that shit but so yeah as you've gone to these uh that ssp conference and shit mm -hmm. you know like it, did you gain anything from going to something like that or like these conferences have you ever enjoyed going to these conferences well see how i got so mm -hmm. i got in so I hadn't gone to any conferences before. Before getting, that, yeah. After my TBI and getting yeah. involved where I did. And then, um, you know, I was excited. I was observing. I was learning. I was checking things out. And I've had people, you know, ask, well, why did you get involved here? Well, I kind of jump in with both feet. And I want yeah. yeah. to understand things. You have to research them, correct? Yep, exactly. Right? So that's what I did. Experience is the best way and to learn. Experience yep. it. Right. It, got, and, it just happened. I'm here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it yeah. was interesting, met some great people, also found that, you know, this whole um, pocket of wonder in this new age um, cult mentality thing is um, not something that I want to subscribe to. And yeah. um, it's dangerous. In my opinion, it's dangerous. And it's um, uh, that that that. Those red flags you have to pay attention to, and it's it's an interesting um, it's an interesting to, thing to experience. I'm not you know, but um, you have to you have to be willing to say no. This the, have the integrity to say no. This isn't that makes I sense, man. Yeah. Did you yeah. see or notice any incidences or inklings of targeting while you were at the conference of? Spooks, whatever you know. Conference of spooks. <laughs> it's, it's, well, you have I mean, to I've heard, I've like, heard that they've, there's targeting of certain individuals who go to those things. There's um, right. harvesting of them mentally. However, that works out. You know, you have to wonder. You know, when people, you know, hey, we're going to do this great big meditation. A big group of people, yeah, do bells <laughs> and whistles with it, and we're going to make it look like it's love and light. You have to wonder what that is and where you're putting your focus and those kinds of things. If you believe in that, where are you um, putting your 500 I've, bucks to go to it? I've, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I've, I've experienced, um, you know, witnessing people that were really just, um, Hey, you know, you're, you, you, you look like you're from this planet, pay me another hundred bucks and I'll tell you more. Um, yeah, you yeah. know, the, there's, there are narcissists that are preying on traumatized people and it's sad. 
that's brutal. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So see a lot of books for sale. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that's yeah. what the, you know, but conferences that, I mean, that's, <laughs> you know what our conference is for it's for marketing right to marketing uh presenting research yeah yeah, Yeah. and i've spoke i like i love talking to people and i i had last year i was a public speaker and i had an absolutely wonderful time sharing my story and connecting with people Uh, and having talked to them and have that that understanding uh that you help someone uh that was that's priceless um But then there's a part where things, in my opinion, can be taken too far Mm -hmm. and you see people charging $5,000 for this package or, you know, there's definitely, I feel there are definitely helpful workshops and conferences, but I think where this whole bleed over of ufology and new age marriage, which was done by some specific groups, I, uh, I think that is just pinned done. the nail on the head right I, I there. The bleed is, over, dude. That yeah. is, that is, that is the old. damage. The yeah. damage is done. Yeah. And there's this, now nobody knows what is what there's so much disinfo and there's, it, it's become such a joke because of certain stories and how certain yeah. things have been handled that how does one even you know, what, it? how do we process that and how do we move forward or how can, you know, but then there's, there's people that are still just blinded in the woo and that are fanatics mm. and that are followers that are sidekicks to these cults. And it's, you know, you don't how want do to you believe think? that it's not true. Sycophants. Well, well, you're talking about that bleed over. It bleeds into politics it bleeds into uh yeah ufology paranormal everything uh cultural cultural shit like the the shootings and stuff you're like instantly everyone's like fuck it's a false flag that shit fucking bugs me dude because james it's also deeper in the media that you've got like like uh who was it bill nye or uh neil deGrasse tyson neil deGrasse yeah Yeah. on the big bang theory talking about Uh, yeah that's messed up program goes yeah and you have to and then the more you you know if you're a researcher and like i love you know check it out researching information and then you start kind of putting pieces together and then you start seeing this kind of pattern and then that's the moment when you're like deep state (laughs) (laughs) and that's the moment when you're like oh you know okay okay this is it, things start to really kind of fall into place, makes sense. And then you slowly back out and you're just kind of, okay, you know, and move forward. And, you know, what do you do? And there are similar shysters out there in various other kinds of roles or act. Or, yeah. Uh, like there's a certain CIX, alleged ex-CIA people mm-hmm. who claims about things. Who, Isn't that interesting? It, there's absolutely nothing that can to be to the verified. Stars Academy. Yeah, no, it's got nothing to do with that. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> I at know, all. Who, I know what yeah. you're talking about. There's yeah. two. There's two of them, mm-hmm. and these people talk about their merits and everything they did while working for these various three letter agencies, but mm-hmm. none of it can be verified. Zero. Mm-hmm. You won't get a confirmation or denial. Right, and then you also have to see who these people are working with and supporting right. publicly. Correct. And then really start going, oh. <laughs> I want to know who get who's paying these people because it's, it's wow. a concerted, directed effort, what they're doing. And it, I have to agree with you on that. Maybe yeah. it's they're paying them with the black budget money that they get from the poppy fields that they guard in Afghanistan Maybe. and sell the yeah. heroin. And it's just a giant opiate. And we go full circle with all of it. Aliens, painkillers, opiates. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is something else, though. It might be the same at the top, but I don't think um, I don't think drug running is the reason no. behind the alien agenda. No. And and it yeah, yeah I'm not I even agree sure with you. It's a there is a huge agenda, thing. and it's interesting to see how folks think that in their they use that loading language. Oh, the I'm I'm awake. I'm awake and you're not. Oh, I yeah. hate that. And this I'm awake, awake. Yeah, yeah. Go back to sleep, sheeple. 
Yeah. So it's 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 a, it's a it's a pseudo awareness. Sure. It's, it's you're put into another pen essentially because now you're being mind controlled by these gurus, and again, there's many of them, and the amount of control that they have is pretty frightening, I think. And um, but it it the agenda behind it it really it's interesting. Uh, where did that come from, and what is the purpose of it? Because it seems to be some kind of giant uh, operation where they're trying to see how far they can push people with certain beliefs, is it? Or, or you, you know, with the whole alien thing, too? Or is I, it? I like to think uh, that it's also possibly a slap in the face, like, hey, wake the fuck up and look what's going on. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. You know what this I'm whole. I'm not saying it is, but that would be nice. <laughs> You was. know what this whole uh, like this QA non shit, you know, that oh, uh, that QA stuff. Non, yeah. 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 So what yeah. you have there is uh it was on a on a I guess the dark web. So then it goes mm -hmm. to uh Not Reddit. It well, when it started, didn't it start? Well, 4chan. 4chan. I thought it was three levels. So it goes from real deep to 4chan, and then 4chan is bringing out, but then what you have oh. is you have a new group of people and their kids. And the mm -hmm. kids are able to break it down faster than any of us yeah. could ever do it and put the pieces together. And it's happening faster Weapon, than anybody. You think autism. the lid can get blown off on a lot of shit? Like, but if it was, if it was a legit, if it was legit information, do you really think it would be allowed to be online? That, 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 I don't yeah. know, man. No. I, I want to say, yeah, I don't know because it's put in a, I mean, yeah, maybe it's made to fuck with your head. I don't it's know. A, I, it, I've been it following. could be a psyop itself. You're right. It could, I understand I feel, that. I feel 4chan's but, a little more like free and open than like YouTube. YouTube's like a private company. Uh, they could rip your yeah. shit down if they don't agree with you. Like 4chan's, 4, yeah, a couple kids own it. Yeah, 4chan's just seems like well, the Wild West. So I think like anything <laughs> could kind of get on there. If it's getting yeah. brought up in this code... Right. I'm not, I don't, I'm not, it, it's not coming up in code. You don't know what you don't oh. know. It's, it, it's a guy, but he hasn't given out information. He's asking questions. That's all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He mm -hmm. phrases everything in a question. Yeah. Everything's a question. And it's like, why, what is this? What is that? Why is it relevant? Okay. The best Thanks. one I heard recently, to, uh, just mm -hmm. as a spinoff to this QA non, I was just listening to magical mystery radio. Did you listen <laughs> Grim, to the newest uh, episode? No, the newest. Oh, one? good. Towards the end, he he talked about it. It was great. Uh, Hugh Hefner, CIA yeah. deep CIA agent. Have you heard totally. that relation brownstone. to it? He ran yeah, the be, Playboy Mountain was a, a brownstone operation. Yeah, so he was CIA, like whatever. Not maybe not this huge op guy, but he was huh. in, better with the CIA yeah. to fuck with people and get them in nefarious acts and things with these models and stuff. And for blackmail. Right. And his first gig, to, like he just he wanted to be married or married, uh, buried next to Marilyn Monroe. She was mm -hmm. the first person that was on the cover of Playboy. Mm -hmm. So they were working together and getting all these fucking high end people in these nefarious situations to ha to get the uh, I don't say uh, upper hand, are, uh, upper hand are, on these people. Yeah, so he is the white rabbit. Sex. If you follow yes. that shit, the white rabbit involved with the it, it goes deep dude. it's crazy the connection they made it, that uh john made on uh on, on this show magical mystery hmm. radio he's a great podcast by the way and uh i'm trying to get these dudes on too but also um, the white rabbit is um <laughs> some other kind of operation too there's something at cern i just heard it today too yeah, and mary monroe is the other part of it um fuck there's that's one of the other coded things in it and it's so, all it's all coded. It's all coded, and and when you put all these things together, and these kids are all fucking figuring it out, dude. It's crazy. Yeah. And what uh, was one, so, something about like the the birds the birds sings or something it was about Admiral Bird and Antarctica. I, I heard mm -hmm. something about that. Oh, it's a lot of crazy shit, dude. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I, I it's fun know. to listen to and try to yeah, like you say, deconstruct it and uh, like I you know when you're on I I, I don't know I think we're just so, a little bit more of aware of that. Do you guys shit. think it's a LARP? Yeah. Do you think it's a LARP? I don't. I don't know yet. I'm gonna say I don't think I don't it know. is. Uh -huh. I can't tell. That's the thing. I what? haven't heard the, that terminology yet. What is LARP? Oh, 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 LARP is live, live action, action role play. Role so play. it's basically oh, okay. yeah, it's just uh, some dude acting out. all this ah. crap out. Interesting. Seeing how it goes. Or, or it's just it's just. I think it's Trump. 
<laughs> or is it just a distraction? Well, more so a there distraction. Was some, yep, yep, there, bing, right, bing, bing. It's, more distra- it's definitely a distraction, but there's nothing he said that hasn't happened Come, yet. Yes, that's what's weird. You want to yeah. know what the true distraction is? Is my news feed blowing up like 30 times with an ICBM launch from North Korea today? That's Bullshit. the distraction. That's mm. the yes. true distraction yes. out there. Are yeah. we still alive? I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there you go, dude. That's as good as that yes. bomb is. Yes. All of this. Yeah. What's and really now, going apparently on? the LAPD is investigating, I heard 24, I think, cases, reported hmm. cases of abuse. What, the, oh, like a sealed indictment um, kind of thing? or No, like they're investigating 24 Hollywood stars. Oh, gotcha. Man. Oh, I heard the they're fall also is coming. They're, yeah. they're uh, releasing a bunch of papers from the. Uh, the Loretta Lynch and Bill Clinton tarmac meeting. I heard that <laughs> that's coming out. Yeah. Yeah. How, 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 uh, fuck. how, uh, breadcrumbs. breadcrumbs. Is that be? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. But I mean, is that just a distraction too, just to keep the Dems and the Republicans no, at each other's throats? No. No, 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 no. That was all about the uranium one deal. Oh, uh, okay. The, the Clintons are fucking, <laughs> the Clintons are, dirty. they're ballers, dude. They're ballers. <laughs> Whatever, I don't care, but they're running a giant spy ring in Congress and it's got to go. Mm-hmm. I hope it does fall, man. I, Maybe I mean, something is yeah. happening and that's why this whole North I Korea shit's know. going on. Because North Korea's I in the could... CIA's pocket. Just, didn't I, I didn't I they say South Korea fired back CIA at him? Yeah. run North mm-hmm. Korea. Mm-hmm. It's, C- it's CIA complete, runs North Korea? I think it's a complete CIA operation. Oh, it is. But, totally. I could, I could be wrong. It doesn't matter. The point is, though, that there are over 1,200 sealed indictments that have been filed by Mueller Boom. in like eight or 10 different uh-huh. districts, which include Chicago, yeah. uh, Old Arkansas. Rom. Old Rom's going down. <laughs> Rom, it's Old Rama? Chicago, Arkansas, Dallas, D.C., New York, and there's one more like Virginia. Oh. Mm. So think about who's in those states. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. <laughs> so I mean, twelve hundred and there's a, there's a lot that's going a on. Little people. That's a people. Yeah, and it, it, you feel that pressure, right? I don't know what it is, but, but I mean, yeah, it's you like, feel whatever. it. Like, I, dude, I, Synchro. I just told I told Nish that this morning. I'm like, whatever that building up thing is yeah. happening. It's happening. It's <laughs> happening, dude. Something I don't know, but yeah, Can then so it? then you're saying okay, you know, like like you were just talking like. Um, uh, like how you you like to talk to people right and mm-hmm. and and have these conversations at the same time you're like man i just want to fucking unplug and shit but you can't like i can't stop <laughs> talking to people i can't stop you know, talking Dude, to myself because once you unplug that's i feel like that's when you forget that's kind of what they want you to do they want to throw that's all the, true or the, the, what the fuck is they I hate that term. They like who is they? Uh, exactly, who is they? <laughs> the deep, right? The deep state. The uh, what, what, what the media controller, mean? MSM. There, you know, there is yeah. no they. That's the big trick. That's yes, ah. yes. They trick us into thinking they're all powerful Correct. when they're not shit. Yeah, Absolutely. they. Because we're all like, oh man, like we could all be. It'd be so cool if we all lived on the same street and had our own thing. But then you're just in a tight. But yeah, maybe you know, people are drawn right. to these tight communities. Our community is pretty big. I mean, I I don't I know people all over the not all well, over, but I know people that, uh, like all over North America at least. <laughs> North America. I know a dude in Australia now. I know dudes. I know a bunch of fuckers in Canada. With them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those hosers. <laughs> yeah, man. But I know people all over the place now. And it's great, and I'm loving it. And it's just good vibes, man. I'm just trying to send that out to people. I hope people dig it. I mean, I, I ramble like an asshole, but like. <laughs> Um, <laughs> at the same time, I just, I'm, I am on the same level with you guys. It's just like, and I like that and I don't want to lose that at all. Cause I, not that I'm searching for it. I'm just searching too, for like-minded Love people. James. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like-minded people, man. Aww. And that's it, man. Yeah. So There you go. Yeah. Yes. Just oh, just people group that are hug. there. Yeah, you group go hug. right on. Yeah. Group for hug. Sure. All right. There's like one thing blanket. I want to know Yvonne. what do you think of yeah. Antarctica? Ah. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it have a volcano under it? I don't know. Pyramid. Who okay, knows? Pyramids. The is there, is there spaceships Earth. down there? Hollow Earth. Yeah. What is it? What do you think? What do I think? I think it's a great mask? private place to utilize for information of an alien race Ooh. because nobody can really check to see. Um, but I wasn't that. Alien, isn't that why the mantle, uh, space the mantle's alien. melting? Because the, 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 there's. Um, 
a something warming plume. up there. There's a or, volcano yeah. plume underneath it. And um, do they know that so for sure? I, I think so. I'd have to look here. So but if I, there was melting, something that came in the news, I, I mean, I, it yeah, could have been fake I, news. Who knows? Yeah, but, so, but <laughs> they don't know. Um, what's going. You know, the, all this are you, if you're talking about the extreme woo of Intel of the Atlantic, of yeah, the, let's go woo. Uh, yeah, the I love whole, the woo. The whole, you know, inner Earth and all this. Do the Nazis have a base under there? Possibly. Break away civilization. Um, you know, at one point they did. Yeah. If you, it's how many stories do you want to hear? I mean, who is sick yeah. of the stories and you just want the truth, but then, you know, you have these folks giving out their Intel, the latest yeah, Intel, intel. <laughs> and it never, it, there's never an end to their freaking Intel. Mm -hmm. And that Intel is followed by um, dollar signs. So, you know, well did you um, hear that? How they're building? They're going down, taking mass amounts of machinery down there. They're that they're just like well, that, off the that other was coast. A, yeah, alleged yeah. stories. You know, alleged that was Cliff. Stories. Cliff High was talking about yeah. that and that one THC yeah. about how yes. all these, yeah. uh, yeah. all these Let's stories. Let yeah, me look it is. At um, his crypto everything's a story. You got to hear the story to find Dude, out his what the hell's bots. going on, though. Although his web bops were, were getting muddied up by that cult we were talking about. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was thinking today, yeah, right, that's interesting who they attack, isn't it? Uh -huh. I was thinking uh -huh. right. on his yes. web bots and that article I wrote about predictive programming and shit, right. <clears throat> that there are cues that people can pick up on and then use them in their media. Here. I bet he's doing the same thing but for different targets. And okay. He, what I was thinking, my idea was that if he, he could probably tune his system to pick up events. Hmm. If it's not already. Here, you know? here under, this is on um, November 8th, 2017, um, Science Forbes mag magazine. A massive heat source was just discovered under Antarctica, driving ice melt and mm. volcanism. And I'm sure that this is going to screw up a lot of breakaway civilization stories, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's, um, their, it's their nuclear reactor. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. So, you know, again, um, you know, we want things to we want things to be real. We want the sci-fi reality to stop, and we want things we want to understand and know just, just the, the truth. truth. Just what the truth. if yeah. the truth oh, is just a, an illusion and another mind control? This whole disclosure <laughs> thing, the whole disclosure thing itself, is just another operation possible. What if we're you in know? a big giant snow globe? Could, <sighs> oh, what was that movie? Um, the, the something show, the um, Truman, Truman, Truman show. show. Truman. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's what the, that's what Thank the you. Is. Good night. Good evening. Good morning. Whatever it was. Yeah. But um, yeah. So. So yeah. you think if there's, if, if, if well, I, I probably at one point, maybe due to uh, polar shifts and stuff. Are really it, great script writers. That. Well, no, just in general, like Antarctica. Yeah. Say there is a volcano and these things start to yeah. melt. Maybe they will find some extra like uh, things down there. I yeah. Mean, you would expect to find something under ice that melts yeah. and we've been here how long so and it might show it might show something that predates what they think it is. yeah so i don't know yeah mm -hmm. but you know again um the thing and about then that'll get covered up right exactly <laughs> yeah except for the latest intel from uh -huh. aliens to special people totally. that are hand selected i've got this me. download yeah i just was in my bubble ooh, and ooh, i got a download guy's name yeah. gonzalez Yes, <laughs> Lieutenant Gonzalez, Gonzalez. the guy, the, yes, the blissed out boy. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's that. Uh, the, the when he, he was abducted when he was a kid, right? That guy, is that him? Yeah, uh, it's yeah, a typical secret space program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I, 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 even I heard, sorry, no, he I was. Uh, I heard his whole story on, um, uh, it, god, another guy's YouTube channel, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. it's everywhere. Oh, well, I think I heard Walter Bosley talking about how <laughs> he saw a lot of. Um, what did he say? There's an interesting think, Lieutenant Gonzalez story on my YouTube channel um, mm -hmm. from it's Eric. Like he, Eric and uh, Eric Grains. No, no, oh. Eric N. I said, oh, and Eric. yeah, and um, he was he was one of the guys that was called out as being in the dark alliance on I somebody's blog alliance. and so i had him on and a couple other people to work through some of the stuff that we mm -hmm. were that, that was thrown at us oh. what i watched that i'm sorry oh mm -hmm. 
I remember now. Yeah. Um, yeah. I am the Dark Alliance for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Join our Facebook group. I am the Dark Alliance. Did you make one? Of course. Oh, my God. <laughs> did you really, Jerry? I thought I did. I called the Crad Alliance. I made it backwards. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, Luciferian. And all. Right. Yes. I'll put it in the show notes, everyone. Y'all can join. So. <laughs> So yeah, with that saying, like let, let's get back to something positive and try to you know end on something fun <laughs> yeah, and positive, let's, man. Let's give yeah, a nice like, closing segment on some good good oh love and God. light, good vibes. Like you you're talking about <laughs> how to, you need deconstructing these things and sending out you know positive information. Like like so where where where, where do you want to see in the future? Like how how people could reach out? Like you were just saying, maybe talking about mm-hmm. deconstructing. Maybe like that's that's your uh, input to it. You know, like. Well, I think let's start seeing people do things, actually be the yeah. change that Actions, everybody freaking yeah. talk about because yeah. this whole, and even love it, the terminology, love and light yeah. became it, loading. It's language a term. Yeah. And it was hijacked. So it doesn't even have, it's we're bringing even, it back. We're taking yeah, it back. I just want to say, I love you to everybody. Yeah. Oh, like, dude, it happened. You guys. Dude, I was My showing God. an apartment. Uh, no, like no joke. This crazy synchro too, because Garrett, I was talking to him in, to, in we're in the Grimerica chat, and he's like, "Dude, do people come up and just hug you and shit?" Aww. And I'm like, "Man, uh, it, yeah, we, we were making a joke about it. No joke, yeah. man. Fucking like twelve hours later, I'm showing this apartment to this lady, and and we're just vibing. She's laughing, joking, da da da. And we, I go to show her. Uh, I had like a two of them that I was going to show her, and and uh, we're just yucking it up, and and she. And she was getting ready to leave and she gives me a hug and shit. I was like, this is badass. I was like, uh, you're awesome. Yeah. I was like, that's hugs crazy. Are, like, hugs are awesome. And yeah, I know me, that feeling. Yeah, me, when me I did the Grimm. public speaking engagement and you have people come up that understand exactly what you're talking about. Throw you down a hug. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. It's oh, I love um, it. I love it. And then me and Grim always yeah. talk about, dude, smile at somebody, it'll blow yes. their mind. Yes. <laughs> like, that's right? all it takes. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, Make eye contact and just acknowledge it. Yeah, yeah, be the doer, be the just change. Do something. Instead yeah. of listening be to all this intel and trying yeah, to like, like, like Grim's out, like, dude, go do something positive. Yeah. yeah. He's like, even if you call me an asshole and tell me to get out of the way, but I bet that dude later on that night's gonna remember that one point in time where where you where where you said hi to or or uh like I don't dude, know. Dude, I, I with the holidays working shit. in a grocery store yeah. at the holidays, man. I've I just had to have so much uh-huh. tolerance with people because, like, everybody's yeah. so irritated, yeah. so close, and yeah. I just kill them with kindness. And even though they're Smile. mad, I just hope that they fucking know. remember that. Like, yeah, right. That guy was it nice was, to me today, even uh, though I was a complete one point asshole. in time of your day. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. yeah. <laughs> we tell each other, we tell people all the time, send us hate mail. But I bet one day we're gonna get some hurt feelings because it might be real bad. But like <laughs> at the same time. If if it that if that's what it takes to make that person feel good about yeah. anything about sending sending that that just blah, like just send it via internet to us I don't give a fuck dude your digital words and can't we'll hurt read me. that email on out, out loud and dude I've read some pretty hurtful shit on the air there's been yeah, some I've mean some stuff <laughs> yeah. I know this one guy he sent some fucking brutal stuff dude yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. Yeah, those, those are always fun, aren't they? Yeah. I just, I don't know. We brace it. We're like a superhero. We, we absorb it, dude, the hate and then turn it into love and blast it back at him. There <laughs> you go. Like, yeah, awesome. like Grip says, dude, he's like, dude, if it, I mean, when you break yourself down to as low as we are, yeah. ain't nothing going to hurt you. Dude. You can't burn yeah. burnt wood. <laughs> <laughs> Flame totally me up. Agree. Troll me. It, Bring it on. Me, fuck it, man. Whatever, dude. Like, oh, uh, whatever. Send an email. Talk it out, dude. I don't know. Yeah. That, uh, we're just a little different. We, I, like, yeah, it's different just, is good. I just want to talk to and have a good time with people. Yeah, excellent. And I want to yeah. interview people like you and podcasters and yeah. that get to talk to all these people and just get a sense of like what's dude, going just on. Just grow the tribe. Yeah. Grow the tribe. Yeah. That's grow what it's about. Love yeah. it. But that's yeah. it, man. Yeah. yeah. So like, and yeah, be so, like, like water at the same time. <laughs> Yes. We do like water. I want some of that water Graham has, dude. That fucking oh, hundred, it's like quadruple distilled through like volcanic rock and then yeah. blessed by a pixie in a forest or something. <laughs> <laughs> so it's amazing. I would guess it's blessed got, by got, conspiracy got, gnome. Cons- conspiracy gnome. Conspiracy gnome. So, uh, conspiracy gnome. that was good. Where can everybody um, find you at, Yvonne? Yes. That? Oh, gosh. Uh, 
So my email is groovybean at gmail.com and that's G-R-O-O-V-I-E-B-E-A-N. And uh, my uh, YouTube channel is Groovy Bean Dark Brew. Dark Brew. And, and website my website is groovybean.com. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And Monday night, 7 p.m. Pacific time live. Uh, Lisa Green, Tenny, and myself. Somewhere between the moo and mainstream is where you'll find us. And then uh, Wednesday mornings at 11 a.m. Pacific time, I'm doing the chronic pain Chronic pain and just talking, sharing, being some support for people if they've got nowhere to go, you know, just to join the live chat. Yeah, click that subscribe button on her channel. And so every time she goes on live, you'll get that up. Yeah, you just get on there and watch and comment if you can. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it. Definitely. And uh, I, I love that kind of stuff because I I don't know I mean I'm at work or something I, I like I yeah I see anybody come on like that I'll, I'll be more than glad to uh, jump on and just yeah. show some support and talk about whatever's the topic at hand for sure yeah support the fringes as hey, I man. say yes, yeah exactly. yes. yeah it's fun yeah. Yeah. tickle the, tickle the fringes tickle, tickle the fringes. <laughs> Tickle them. Tickle the fringes. Tickle, tickle. Yeah. No, I've I've had fun. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming on. Oh, yeah, thanks yeah, for coming. I really appreciate yeah. it. Hope we didn't scare you fun. off too bad. No, no. It's been funny to watch though, because they <laughs> don't see this, but it's pretty funny to you guys the are way- it's fun. That's what's cool about Zoom and the way we yeah. interact. Yeah, we all know each other, dude. It, we know yeah, each other we way too much. Out, like every too night. Yes. <laughs> do you really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we do this every night. That we'll get fucking ten people in here. Yes. So That's yeah. excellent. Contact us if you want to hang out. I would <laughs> love that. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing WoW or something. Or yeah. just something. Just you know, mm-hmm. talking mm-hmm. nonsense of the day. This what yes. it is. And, and then we decided to record it and turn it into a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> that's much. excellent. That's it, but man. That's yeah. This cool. is how you can take the technology and turn uh, it into something. Positive. That's all it is. Yeah, mm-hmm. you take yeah. that tech and like maybe yeah, have some fun. Just I don't know. I, it, yeah. Because things are get too serious, and that's what happened with this show. It got it, it like Did it? shit was too hardcore, dude. We needed oh. like uh okay, a, just a f- lot of fun. Just just have fun with it and talk to really cool people like you. Uh, well, thank you. No, I had cool. fun. Thank you yeah. very much for having me. And, All right. Uh, thank you. Yes. Fun. We'll see yeah, you next time. Nice lovely night. See you next time. Yeah, see you in the hive, you probably. Yeah, the hive. Oh, we're all, yeah, yeah, we've met each other. Right. In that, yeah, so. nope. uh, absolutely. All right. All right. All right. Thank Good you. night, everyone. <laughs> okay, All right. thanks. Take care. All right. See Cheers. you later. Please, oh, please. Go on over to Grimstick.com And give a donate to us Give a donate to us Smiley face Please, oh please Go on over to Grimstick.com And give a donate to us Give a donate to us That's G R I M S T E A K dot com. And tell them that Cliff Wall sent you there. Oh, and tell them Cliff Wall sent you there. Smiley faces. Oh, please, oh, please. Go on over to Grimstick.com and give a donate to us. Oh, give a donate to us Smiley faces And tell them that Cliff Wall sent you there And tell them that uh, Cliff Wall sent you there That's G-R-I-M-S-T-E-A-K Dot com And give a donate to us And give a donate to us and give a donate to us. 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 Think they're all cahoots because space is fake. Whoa, 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 whoa. Space is fake? <laughs> it's cruising with steak, dude. It's all about love and, and sharing <laughs> ideas, dude. It, it, this is not, that's not the vibe we're looking for, dude. <laughs>